Hello everyone. How are we all? Let me just undeafen really quick so these idiots can hear me. Hello. Somebody just showing us like surprise. And that's why I don't it. support Blizzard's furry <laughs> agenda. Oh sorry, hey. hey. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, Blizzard's furry it. agenda. It's broken. Oh. What's broken? He fucked huh? it. What's broken? Nothing. No, on stream Everything it like broken. fucked. It fu it looked it was fucked. Yeah, because I untogged out to there. Motherfucker. Because I it really looks fucking sick, dude. What? I'm glad everyone likes it. Mm. Um, I had to. I don't like uh, the fact that like my face is like. Oh, we're gonna. Mm. <laughs> well, touch. fucking you, pan your camera further stuff. down. Oh, uh, I'll show you my crotch, dude. All you had to do. Was oh, oh, fuck yeah. yeah. Um, hey everyone. Hello, uh, hey, Mo. Hello. Sorry for the late start. Things have been hectic as shit. We've, you know, we've had a lot of last minute adjustments to make because we're streaming on a different channel with different overlays, different face cams That's and cool, shit. Man. Did you just say to Tesco? I, what? I'm not DMing? Yeah. Wow. Mm. Shit's brazy out here, bro. I keep it real on the streets. Keep it 100 on the stack. Skrilla, Skrilla, dude. Holy fuck. Uh, what the fuck is going on with everyone today? I'm in the club game. I was, a, I was a hood rat in my previous life. Yes, I'm nice. I guess, he says. For those of you that haven't heard, we're doing uh, Hades, the video game. But as a 5e one shot with the potential to do more if people enjoy it. Yep. Um, it's going to be very combat heavy. It is like the best way I could describe it is it's a very sort of early D&D style dungeon crawl. It's like but, a reverse dungeon crawl, right? Like instead of trying to get into the dungeon, we're trying to get out. Yeah, right? but it's that very sort of like heavy combat, early D&D sort of with, you, you know, there will be a few characters from the game that people might recognize. But if you don't know the game, that's fine. It's, you know, it's just going to be a good old... I know my basic Greek mythology, bro. It's just going to be a good old kill things. You know your Me, basic Greek if mythology. I see, if I see a Gorgon, I'm going to try and fuck it. I just want you to know that. Uh, well, that's good Everybody... because I haven't done a monster stat block for Gorgon's yet, so there aren't any. Fuck! <laughs> fuck! It's I mean, almost like... Just so... imagine a horseman having sex with a snake lady. What kind of baby would he make? <laughs> Snakes. Hey, I hate to tell you this, Dutch, <laughs> but, the Gor but the Gorgons and Hades, the game, are just floating heads with snake Oh, hair. yeah, you the That's best so, you're getting I mean, is some lady, sucky right? sucky. I mean, okay. it's just a head. <laughs> but... Any holes are gold, mate. While I'm sorting notes and getting things ready, then we want to talk very briefly about that character. Uh, there isn't going to be super, like... Nobody's put, like, deep thought into a backstory because it's very combat heavy. But people have made cool backstory. combat builds and... I'm about it. So, uh, don't you want to go first? Let me just get my uh, backstory book out. Oh, sure. Side yeah. note, um, this will be going up on the Dungeon Select YouTube. Yes. You can expect it to go up on Saturday because that's when I'll be at uni and can use my computer. Hell Big yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, uh, so I'm going to play. Saturday, I'm going to play Deimos, a centaur ranger. Uh, you know, like that fuzzy, like little, little bit of fuzzy, like horse type of fur uh skin going on brown colored long brown hair not wearing not wearing leggings and shit because i'm a horseman but i'm wearing a, a scale mail over my torso uh yellow eyes and uh yeah i'm a ranger so i'm gonna be shooting motherfuckers with a bow shoot motherfuckers with a bow oh and uh aries gang rise up aries gang rise up let's go uh bell you wanna go next yeah, one second. I'm eating pizza. Okay. Oh Whatever you want to go, what? Bell eats pizza? <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, first of all, I'm looking at the fucking overlay, and that's not my username, but sure. It's fine. It's too late now. Oh, fuck. Uh, True Woo. Uh, I am playing Odino, who is a satyr rogue. Uh, I've gone for the assassin rogue. Uh, little satyr, so satyr legs, brown satyr legs. Little horns, wearing like a lot of like adornments. The very kind of, kind of, like got a lot of pink, very kind of hippie style type of person. Just because, and I'm following, uh, following Aphrodite, the goddess, the nice. fucking ultimate simp satyr, basically. The ultimate but simp very, satyr, uh, baby. But, but also very like, just very hippie, very just like all about all about the free love. Uh, fucking rogue hunter. Yeah, so I'm the boy, old human in the group. <laughs> I mean, who's just a boring monk is debatable. You're with the normie. Kind of shiny, goldy hair. That's fairly long. 
and just wearing clothes because monks don't need armor. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing leather armor. Straight up, don't need armor. Uh, Belle, you finished your pizza? Yeah, yeah, I finished it. It was really good. <laughs> <laughs> I am playing Trio, who is a centaur and a druid uh, with Circle of Sports. She follows uh, Demeter. And uh, she wears just very simple leather armor and has quite short white hair. Centaur gang. Centaur gang. Centaur gang. Centaur gang. gang. Uh, I can't wait for you guys yeah. to die first. <laughs> that, mean, that just means we're going to go to bed. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> ah, death isn't... Mm. I also love the way that we'll in this font, and it all caps, Koibar and G just looks like Koibarang. <laughs> it does look like Koibarang. <laughs> Koibarang. <laughs> Oh yeah, because you, you guys the stream can't see this right now. And he just comes right back it's you. it's my it's my Australian counterpart. Stro Quite stream right. can't see this right now. I'm literally updating the overlays mid fucking. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, imagine changing your name and then like having imagine it changed fucking... for like two months, but I forgot. Imagine imagine dead naming me. Oh. No, you're uh, not that. Can you, put, can you put a space in between Hunter and Omega? I feel that's really important. No, to me. I can't be fucked right now. You can <laughs> you can suck my dick. What do you mean, Hunty Romega? <laughs> Hunty, Hunty Romega. Hunty Romega. <laughs> uh, I hate us all. I hate us all. I hate us all. Okay. I hate us all. We're so close to having that Dutch Greek. <laughs> Why is that oh, turned everything off? <laughs> Smile. <laughs> oh, now the cameras are gone. Oh, oh I know why. It's all, <laughs> it's all in fucking shambles. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I know why. I had to point it out. I had no, to say. No, no, no. It. It's fine. It's fine. Give me one moment. We just blame oh, Koiba, we blame Koiba, and we move on. Did you export it as a JP, no, JPEG? No, 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 I know what the problem is, guys, shut the fuck up. It's the other way around, though, it's just the cameras and the overlay. Oh. <laughs> well, yes, I know. Oh, <laughs> uh, why don't we have fucking live onset tech guys there we go. that can fix this There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, I'm the onset tech guy. See, it's all fixed, it's all fine. Oh, you're fucking fired. <laughs> Alright, well, I won't well, change the name more, next time. No. It still says so coy, but... Oh, of course it does. <laughs> of course it does. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm fucking... Oh, it's I'm all mad. in shambles, dude. It's all in fucking shambles. <laughs> Look, okay, it's been a while. It's been a while since we it's played. It's all in fucking shambles. That's uh, all it is. Give me what? five seconds. Somebody, Dutch, talk Let's about what's coming up this. on the channel while I fix this. Yes, while well, Ethan's trying to sort his fucking life out, but it sounds a bit... Um, so, this is uh, not the only stream on this channel this week. Uh, tomorrow we'll have Dungeon Discourse with uh, with Ethan and Laura, if I remember correctly. Uh, Saturday, we'll have a uh, Tasha's Kiss one-shot hosted by uh, D.W. Dobson, our boy James. Um, and I'll also do a, a world-building stream on Saturday, like in the afternoon. Uh, because I couldn't do one on Monday because of early birthday stuff and all that shit. Uh, and then this Sunday on my channel will be uh, session 101 of Dungeon Select, where uh, things are getting real close to the end. Things are getting real spicy. We're getting ready to mm. die. We're gonna mm. die. We're gonna, I'm gonna die. have a guest. I'm not gonna say who it is yet. <laughs> it's a surprise. Uh, okay, so. So. Oh, no. I think. Everything's working right. out, right? Like you mm -hmm. think? I think so. I, I think, think. It's fixed. you did it. To be fair, right? And I'm gonna I'm gonna preface this on stream in front of everyone. It's been an interesting setup for this. Because realistically, right, I had this idea what? Oh last two weeks ago. Not last Sunday, the Sunday <laughs> before, less than two weeks. Like a week that, and a half. Okay. I had a week and a half and I was like, yeah, I can fucking I can smash that out. Like, that, that's a, a thing that I can do. And then I was like, okay, this isn't just a flavor thing. Like, uh, you'll all find out as we go, but there are weapons. There are boons. There are enemies that I've all homebrewed. We've got map layouts. Like, I've done a lot for this. That's so, quite poggers. It's a big poggers, but it's going to be... That's terrible. Oh, you're terrible. Thank you. I know you're, breath no, you're breathtaking. No, shut the fuck up, Goiba. Nobody loves you. 
Right. Dude, y'all seen the Space Jam trailer, dude? Oh, they oh, did load the bunny no. bad. Okay. Dirty. Okay. They did dirty. It's literally, it's literally Warner Brothers. They're fucking Ready Player One. Like it's just what Easter egg, to... Easter egg, Easter egg. What Easter happened egg, to egg. my thick bunny girl? <laughs> Cry. I was about to take sip for my back. drink. Now I want to know what the fuck's going on. Space Jam. Space Jam Two. No, I didn't get that. But boy, but where's my thick bunny girl? They did Lola Lola Bunny, dude. Yeah, if you did Lola not Bunny. get like tingles down your fucking jellies back in the day as a kid when you <laughs> saw Lola Bunny, something's wrong with you. Uh, you know, uh, okay, or what was the fucking fair. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? The fucking woman in that. Oh, uh, Jessica Rabbit. Yeah, Jessica Rabbit. Oh, oh yeah, that, yeah, but that's a bit different. Like that's clearly oh, overtly gift, sexual. Am I right, guys? Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get now going, that we're guys. done being fucking <laughs> mean, please start. Are we, are we all ready? Yes. Yes. So. This one shot, or potentially series of one shots, takes place in the world and setting of Hades, a roguelike made by Supergiant Games. Uh, they created Bastion, Transistor, Pyre, which are all brilliant games. If you haven't played them, you really should. Uh, for those of you that are unfamiliar with the game, you play as Zagreus, the son of Hades, fighting through hordes of lost souls to escape the underworld. The events of the story that I'm going to be telling take place alongside, in tandem with the events of the game. We're going to be jumping in shortly after Zagreus' first escape attempt. For the players, you all once a mighty hero fighting in the Titanomagi on behalf of your chosen deity until you fell on the battlefield long before your intended time. Without a proper burial, you have, one by one, sunk through the different forms of of the underworld, from Elysium to Asphodel, and finally found yourselves residing in Tartarus, where your soul was left to wander for what feels like an eternity. Unsure how long you've been down here, and feeling your humanity slowly slip away, you will find yourselves one by one greeted by the Mother of Night, Nyx, ushered through one of the many secret corridors of the House of Hades. You now stand outside the bedchambers of Zagreus, son of Hades. Marble pillars and walls surround you with trimmings of gold, purple, and red. Ahead in the main chamber, just in front of you, through a long archway, you can see a number of teal spectral shades standing in line in front of a large raised desk, which is carved of stone. The desk stands empty. Beside you stands Nyx. Clad in a sweeping purple robe, speckled with glitter, as if stars on a dark sky. The low cut of her dress reveals a large purple gem necklace, matching the same colour of her lips, a deep violet, which curl at the corners into what could be considered a smile. She speaks to you in a very soothing, motherly tone. I have always been committed to this house, eternally. Motherhood changes things. Long before Hades arrived, I shaped this place. Then, I raised his son as my own, and cared for him as I am capable. It is for his benefit I do this, and if you manage to leave this place, remind your gods that I have honoured my side of this bargain, as they shall continue to honour theirs. Through these bedchambers, you'll find a training room, and a door that leads to the exterior of the house, into Tartarus proper. I risk everything to bring you here, so please, speak of this to no one, and be on your way. As you all walk into the bedchamber, it appears disheveled, although well furnished. There's a large bed of soft linens, there's many chests of fine robes, small trinkets, and an enormously tall, almost impossibly dark black mirror on one side of the room. You step through the bedchamber and you find yourselves in what Nyx described as the training room. To the left is a long open platform that overlooks the river Styx and a number of small buildings that appear to have been carved into the walls of this impossibly large cavern you find yourselves in. Ahead of you there are five podiums altogether. There are four podiums that appear to have something on top of them, and a single empty podium. To your right, 
there is a large doorway with incredibly large burning red braziers either side and a deep winding staircase. Dutch. Huh? You find yourself impossibly drawn to one of the podiums on the left. Okay. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll fucking my way over there. Okay. Uh, you walk over and you find that there is a large purple bow that appears to have an ethereal arrow or spear knocked in it. Yoink. You pick up the bow. Absolutely. Hello. You pick up the bow and immediately you feel this wave of uh, a mixture of fear and comfort. You, okay. as a great warrior, would know that you have picked up Karanact. Which. Yes, of course. That's, I know what that means. Of course, you know what that means. <laughs> yes, of course. I mean, who doesn't? Right? For those of you that don't know, Karanact is the heart seeking bow. It is the finest bow ever conceived and wielded by none other than Hera, who stood side by side with Zeus on better terms back then as they drove back the Titans. That's on your character sheet. Mine now, yoink. Well. Wait, I crit on an 18 or what? That's These are legendary nice. artifacts. You find yourself drawn to another podium next to Dutch. Um, okay, there is a large silver spear with a blue handle and a teal blue blade. Gonna grab it. You grab it? Okay. Yeah. You have picked up Varitha, the Eternal Spear, which was originally wielded by Lord Hades against the Titans. It's the name of the game, guys. Yo, I said the name guy. of the game. I've you haven't set up your character on Disney Beyond. I've sent you the information for that yeah, spear. Yeah, yeah. Um, all of these are like homebrews that I've done based on the mechanics of the game. So if there's anything that doesn't make sense because of the way I've worded it, just ask me and I'll clarify it. Sick. Koiba. You find yourself drawn to a podium on the right. I will start, you know, I'll... And as a... Over, or, like, bounce over. ...character with <laughs> a reasonable amount of knowledge of this area and this mythology, <laughs> you immediately recognize the Stygian Blade. Stygius, the oh, Blade shit. of the Underworld. For those of you that aren't familiar with this blade, it is a long, glowing red longsword with a skull at the hill. And metal that's been carved intricately into what appears like a leaf, or a laurel wreath from in the skull that creates some sort of uh, guard. I will kind of daintily pick it up and like quite quickly snatch it and just Wait, look at it. The satyrs have like little hooves goat as legs. well, right? I got goat yeah. legs, yeah. So I, I, I hop along. I, like, so all three of us like. And yeah, hunters are gonna fucking yeah, you, walk you guys over like, like a normal person. <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah basically. Yeah. Nice. You pick up the Stygian blade. Yep. And as you twirl it round, you sort of glance away and look back, and it's in the form of a short sword. Nice. Well, Hunter, you get me. nothing because you're a monk. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, you're of course drawn to a podium as well. On top of it, okay there are these two metal gauntlets, but instead of fingers, there almost seems to be claws. They're gold capped on the end, and there's a purple sort of metallic framework in the shape of leaves and hearts that wraps up the metal gloves. 
Nice what you've picked up, uh, the Twin, Twin Fists of Malfon. Yeah. Uh, which, for those of you that don't know, uh, the ancient Cyclops uh, forged this. Uh, it was delivered in secret to the gods. Uh, that's about all you guys would know, I think, on that one. So, as you all turn around holding these weapons, there is a a, a peculiar individual stood behind you. Um, at first, you're convinced it's just like a training dummy, and then the moment you actually focus, you realise he's just stood there completely still, but he is a full skeleton. Just looks at you all. I'll kind of start trying to sneak round. I'm going to start and snart to sneak. Oh, wait! That's I'm... I mean, if you want to try for it, boy, I'll go for it, but it won't get you very far. Either of you either sneaking or trying to shoot at me. Hmm. Why, why is that? I mean, you guys really haven't spent much time here, have you? There's no point for you specifically sneaking from me because I'm I'm not gonna tell anyone you're here. I'm above my pay grade, and you shooting at me, I I just come back. You mean us no harm? I'm not paid to do security. I'm just here to train the boy and you know target practice. He says just... target practice. I aim my bow at him again. <laughs> okay. I like, just, I like he, put... <laughs> he looks at you and just sort of shrugs. I'm, I don't fire. I just... I just yeah. yeah, he just, after, just, after just looks at you. and. Alright. Uh, I take it... I mean, I, I'm assuming you're all on some sort of escape attempt. Huh? There seems to be a, a precedent for that at the moment. Could say so. Any success before us? Yeah, but I mean, I I don't know if it's my uh, my place to say, but yeah, it's it's definitely possible. It's good. I mean, are you paid to not say? Are you paid? <laughs> I I'm paid. I'm I'm here as a training assistant for the prince. Mm. You guys really don't have any clue what you just picked up, do you? No. I mean, they look like the legendary weapons. I doubt they actually are, though. It's just probably replicas, I assume. You're very very literally in the house of Hades and you think these would be replicas as he says that I kind of like just admire the sword even more just like look I uh oh, no. <laughs> I, just I mean like practice, the fact that you all picked him up and you're not dead probably means that you know it's a good thing but I, I, I would not be dead yes yeah I mean well that's a, a relative well, term, right? More like, dead. We're all dead, but not dead dead. Regardless, um Don't break any of those. And that stairway's where you wanna go if you're heading out. Can I insight check him? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Fuck yeah, dude. Yo, I need first to roll? my phone to do the rolling. <gasps> I don't have days. Come on, don't fuck me over. Oh, oh angry bell. What'd you get? <laughs> uh, insight, where's my insight? Plus one, 16. Yeah, I mean, um... He seems to be telling the truth. He seemed rather nonchalant when... Uh, when the bow was aimed at him, so he's very, um, 
He didn't give a fuck. You get the sense that at the very least he was telling the truth about that he'll just come back. And yeah. uh, from what he said so far, he doesn't seem to have any reason to lie to you. But you also know that Nyx was very hush-hush uh, about bringing you in. As far as you're concerned, we were never here. I'm um, sure. I'll see you all in whenever you come back. I'm head to the staircase. Okay. Head to the staircase? Okay. I walk. I walk past the little man and give him one final. <clears throat> the skeleton. <laughs> the skeleton <laughs> man. You give him. I mean, my dude communicates like ninety percent with grunts. He just sort of gives angry. you a very sort of like half-hearted wave and just sort of stands there waiting cobra clan is there a the references. The staircase uh no there is not it is a deep winding marble staircase that you cannot see the bottom to don't suppose there are shoes on the wall hmm? moving on there are what on the wall sorry? i think we're supposed to go up not down oh is the staircase up no it's down yeah, that's what. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, you would think it would be uh, a staircase up, not down. That would leave us out. It's a weird place. And I start, like, almost like skipping steps and then going down. It's like. Very jovial, very just like, yeah! Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah! Let's go, guys! It's, it's gonna be fun! You. Like... <laughs> Get about halfway down. And the staircase just sort of stops, but it doesn't appear to be broken. It just seems to stop. Like it, it levels out, and then there's just a gap. A drop. Any idea how, like, far of a drop? Uh, what range is your dark vision? A dark vision? Eos, uh, wait, do I even have dark vision? I assume so. I don't uh, have dark vision. <laughs> I don't. You don't have dark vision? Nope. Yeah, satyrs, satyr centaurs, and minotaurs, and the like. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh. Uh, I throw a sunbolt down. You don't. 30 feet. 30 feet? That, that's uh, where my sunbolt, which should be bright. It goes down 30 feet, and you can see that it sheds light for another 60 feet. And there does appear to be a bottom. I will very acrobatically just kind of like run off and just kind of do like a flip and go for like the three point landing at the bottom. I'm okay. Just gonna fucking be like, I'll I'll check it out. Don't worry, guys. I'm good at this type of thing and just fucking like. For pure style jump. reasons, give me a, an acrobatics check. Oh fuck yeah. Uh, that would be. I'll fuck you in this deck. Uh, a 23. 23? You fucking three-point superhero landing like a boss. Oh, my leg! <laughs> no, it, surprisingly, you take no full damage. I will shout up. Sim fight! As soon as you say the sim fine, I jump. Okay. Yeah, I go after. Is anyone, everyone's just straight jumping down? Oh, okay. yeah, so he just dropped like... pretty far, and he didn't seem bothered, so I'd oh. yeah, fuck it. Yeah, but he's a jumpy boy. Oh, no, he's the claw to, like, like that. <laughs> Is anyone doing anything, like, acrobatic and fancy, or are you just straight jumping? No, I'm just jumping. Yeah. Like, I'm so, just okay. jumping, it... and then, like, going into a run to burn up any more magic energy. Okay, you all land seemingly fine. Like, there's the... Like, there's the it? sense of the force yeah. of the impact. But you realize that, like, it doesn't cause you any pain. Yeah. Hmm. And as you stand up, you find yourselves in a chamber that I will show stream as well. Do you find yourselves in this chamber? You are on what appears to be a sort of stone platform that juts out from the main room to either side of you and the other side of this room where there aren't walls and you can actually see there just appears to be 
more of this large cavern scape you're in or there are a few segments where you can see in the distance the faint glow of the river Styx. The... Just for reference, because I haven't had a chance to really talk about this with you guys yet, on the maps, uh, the grey sections are generally going to be barriers. Things that you can't walk across. The light grey ones. So, for example, uh, here, these are large statue pillars. These green areas are some form of hazard. You look over and you see that there's a recess about three feet down and then there is like an iron grate and out of the iron grate there are a number of these like teal shades that you saw in the house of hades but they seem much more vicious and almost feral and they're all reaching out and trying to grab at you through the barriers you gather that falling in there would be a bad time yeah. hey. Uh, who's who, by the way? Uh, uh, yeah, because it, it's quite zoomed out. Um, Dutch is the red one that shows his bow. Ah, oh, oh, that's for sure. Cool. Uh, Bell is the ice blue one that shows the spear. Damn, you're getting good. You're color. the yellow one, because Zeus with uh, two inch fists and mouth on, and then Koibs is pink. I always get the good color. Because he's a bloody simp. So there's no <laughs> walls here, really. Like, there's edges to the platform, but there's no walls. You can see a door. Is that a, a bit of death around? It's a very far drop down to what looks to be, like, the stone floor. It's hard to describe your, the room you're in because it's almost like... It's like a cavern, right? And that, like, you get the sense that there's a roof. But it's so impossibly far that you can't see it, especially without dark vision. Like, none of you can see the roof. None of you can really see the walls of this cavern you're in. You can peer down and you can make out, like, glimmers of green flame that light up small patches. So you can see that there is a stone floor down there. Um, I would like to, like, move up a little bit to get, like, to that little corner in front of us. You'd like to get to the corner. Yeah, and I, okay. I, just want, I just want to look into the room and see if it's like, or into like at the far end of the space and just see if I can like see anything. Make a perception check. Uh, perception. Oh, dirty 20, dude. Get out of here. Cool. Uh, you see that the four pillars themselves are statues, they are intricately carved. Um,. These ones in particular appear to depict Lord Hades in a number of battles. Uh, one, for example, has him driving the spear. You recognize to be the same spear that Tria is currently wielding. Driving it through the chest of what appears to be one of the Titans. Which you would know were essentially the parents slash creators of the deities. Okay. Someone's got daddy issues. Yes. Do I see any anything or anyone <laughs> that I would deem poses a threat? Or do I see nothing like Other that? Other than the shades trying to reach and grab out you out of the pit? No. Yeah. Okay. Can I move up to between two green squares? Of seems course you can. safe. Oh, yeah. yeah. Seems Are you safe. just moving up, yeah. Hunter? Whilst observing, in case he missed anything. Okay, so make a perception check. How are you moving up? Walking. Okay. Uh, 23. 23? You notice that as you are... Maybe not necessarily making the largest amount of noise, but definitely not sneaking. A large... About 10 feet wide circle appears on the ground. Uh, a number of runes inside this circle light up and flash. Almost like a, like a magic circle, like a, you know, like a major circle light up. And from the circle, a large figure appears. Uh, Not at safe. First, Not safe. At first, coming out of the uh, magic circle as like a, 
almost like a smoke that gathers form and starts to turn this deep orange red. And you have found your first enemy. I would like everyone to roll initiative. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. What a lot of shade. <laughs> what a lot of shade. I could, I could technically have rolled lower. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I didn't roll yeah. great, so don't worry about it. Wait, wait. I mean, man, if I my entire my entire subclass is not going first. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, let me grab a pen real quick. My subclass is about staying at range and shooting things with my bow. Uh. Love that. Twenty range. plus anyone. Fuck no. <laughs> Crazy. My pen just popped off. Okay. Oh, it's popping off. <laughs> it's popping, popping off, off lads. Fucking hell, off. me. Fucking hell, me. Do I have any spare pens over here? I fucking hope so. Yeah, I got you, bro. You got me, bro. Any spare pens in chat? Oh, I've got quite a few spare pens around. i got quite a few spare pens as well, actually. In various uh... places. I clicked it and the whole fucking top just went whoop. Where did I put that? And I it? oop. And I oop. Just fucking open up notepad, lads, and start typing. Open I really up notepad. Crit, 18 or higher, guys. What yeah, you really do. That's crazy. Huh? Shit's brazy out here, bro. What did you just say? Oh, you crit on 18 or higher? That's I crit on 18. Nutty. Yeah, I crit on 18 or higher. That's fucking nutty, dude. I don't do. Ben really enemies. just fucked up. Ben broke. It's not even like it's like. Screw it back on, like. Motherfucker. Okay. I am. Let's get more pens, lol. I have about 40 pens on this bed because I've been clearing my room. Nice. So, there's fucking pens everywhere. Right. Uh. Fuck what? it. Corby, you could also just disguise yourself. As, you know. Do you have a disguise kit? I do have a disguise kit. Might take and a, a while. And a poisonous kit as well, so give me a second, guys, I got this! <laughs> oh, God. Why has he got a poisonous kit as well? Who gave because this? Because I get high. Because I get high. Because I get high. Yeah, high on ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. Um, yes. 20 plus, anyone? Nope. Fuck no. 15 to 20. Fuck no. 10 to 15. 14. Well, Fuck uh, no. Technically, because I rolled a 10. Smile. Okay. Uh, so, Bell Mist. I'm just going to type it on my phone. It'll be easy. But she hasn't rolled for attack yet. Ha! Bell Mist. Ha ha! Ha ha! Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I mean, Hunter, really Hunter's really considered really surprised. Everyone else is fine, but Hunter is considered surprised for this combat. Oh no. <laughs> Yo, can the enemy be considered su surprised, smiley face? No. Just it's for no reason. As, as you will part. find out, he is literally here purely to kill things. For so no when reason things come what... down... Me too. That's crazy. So, bow. Then... Yo, Dutch. If they hit a surprise... Five to ten. Seven. Hunter, what'd you get? Six. <laughs> nice. Man. Okay, Bell, you're up first. Ah, oh, sick, dude. This is um, one. This one's you here. Yeah. I'm gonna move up forty feet. Mm-hmm. Where do you want to move to? Just roughly. Uh, towards like the left side of the green squares. So. Five, ten, fifteen. 20, 25. Do you want to be against this side of the wall or near the squares? Kind of in the middle. So you could move to about there if you wanted to? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to use Witch Bolt. Why not? I'm going to cast Witch Bolt. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can definitely cast Witch Bolt. Go for it. Okay. Range spell attack with Fuck yeah. Yeah, Hunter, you're right. Uh, I made all of these maps on uh, Dungeon Scroll, uh, and I'm currently moving shit about on Photoshop. They can't uh, see that though, Hunter. Sponsor us. 17 to hit. 17 hits, yeah? Uh, okay. <laughs> I've cropped that out, Hunter, that so they is... can't see that. But... Yeah, it was before we explained in case people knew Eight what the shop looked like. Lightning damage. Yeah. Nice. Um, hold on, I need to read a thing. 
It's uh, D6, what are you thinking of? If you're D4. thinking of your boon. Is it D4? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a D4. It should... I, I, wanted, I was checking uh, that it was... It included spell attacks. It does include all attacks. Is it D4? Uh, uh, yes. Did I give everyone D4? No. Wait, okay. Uh, yeah, I, it, mm -hmm. it should be a D6 spell. I oh, apologize. Sick. Okay. That's much better. <laughs> so, <laughs> 8 lightning damage <laughs> and... And, uh, do do do, do all cold damage. Lit, okay. Nice. For those of you wondering, uh, each of the players has been given a boon uh, based I? on their deity. Yes, Dutch. Your dash. I know. Oh, oh, Thanks you're being a... Oh, I'll suck my fucking dick. I genuinely worried I hadn't sent you it then. Got um, everyone's been given a boon. Based on the deity their character worships, that boon is based on an actual bonus you can get in game. I've just D&D fight it. Things will be a little unbalanced. Things will get changed as we go. Like I've homebrewed everything we're doing right now in under two weeks. Right. It's fine. Is there anything else you would like to do, Bella Mella Mella Mel? Uh, no, that's it. That's my. Cool. Yeah, that's my goal. It is now Wait. the turn of. The Wretched Thug. Yo, that's what was my nickname in high school. <laughs> wretched Thug sounds like a rapper name. Um, hmm. It is going to move. Where was it originally? No, oh, no it should stay there. It can stay there, dude. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay. Oh, God. It's going to, yeah, it's going to use its action to dash. Oh, yeah. and... oh fuck! Right, now, absolutely, even with your centaur height, this thing is a good like twelve feet tall. It doesn't appear to have any legs. It appears to be like a floating torso, impossibly large, with this absolutely massive club, and it's, it's just rag. there, almost like a, almost like a, a baseball player, just absolutely getting ready to wail on one of you. So that means if you say bad bad swing he'll miss. Possibly. Eh, bad bad bad. Dutch, it is your turn. This here is the storm okay. is raging rose. I am going to use my uh, bonus action to cast mm -hmm. Hunter's Mark on it. Go for it. Bop. And Bop. then for my action, I'm just gonna fucking shoot my bow, dude. Lit. Go for it. Make an attack. Uh, 16? Yeah, that hits. Fuck yeah. Um, okay. So, and because of a, a feature that I have called mm -hmm. uh, Colossus Slayer, once per turn, when I hit a creature with a weapon attack, the creature takes an extra D8 damage if it's below its HP maximum, which I'm assuming it is, because Bell Yes, it, it is, because it took 12 damage. Oh. So I roll 2D8 and a D6 for my Hunter's Mark. Pog, dude. Uh, uh, ooh. 17 points of damage total. No, 19 points of damage total. Big pog. Okay. You watch this arrow, and it's weird because all of a sudden you're like, hang on. I don't have any arrows on me. But as you pulled the bow back, immediately this small bead of pink ish energy has immediately gone into an arrow. That's fucking badass. An impossibly long arrow. It's It comes out to about here, past the string. And you let go, and immediately... You, it's so fast, you swear that you don't see the arrow fly. You let go, and there's just immediately an arrow sticking out of this wretched Immediate thug. impact? That's yeah. sick, dude. And as it impacts, there's this spray of... Like a purple-pinkish liquid that, as it hits the air, immediately turns to, like, glitter and dust. Hell yeah. Um, and then I would like to move. Where would you like to move, Dad? Uh, I have a 40 feet move speed. Yeah, because you're a horseman. Yes, sir. Can I, with that, reach, like, the opposite end of this platform so I could be, like, 
all the way to the right, but at like the height of uh, whoever yellow is. Is that Hunter? It is a dude. Yeah. 5, 10, yeah, so 15, like... 20, 25, 30. Yeah. You can get to about there. Uh... Fuck, yeah, sure. Check that boat. Cool. I'll do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I think that's my turn. Koibi Woibi? I will... Uh, I will bonus action dash to be behind it, because that's like fucking okay. 90 feet of movement. So you, yeah, your movement right now. Uh, 45. You, you're 45 because you have buffed movement from the yes, uh, Stygian Blade. Sword. Oh, nice. So, so I've got 5, 45 10, feet. 15, 20. 25, 45. Are you, which way are you going around? Are you going around this way or can that I, way? Can I go around left way? Yeah, of course you can. I, mean, just want, I just want to get behind right. it. Yeah. Like right behind it, there, and you I could get there without dashing if you wanted to, or you could get directly behind it by dashing. I mean, it's a bonus action; doesn't make a difference to me. Cool. Okay. So, we'll and I will um, attack it. Uh, yeah, go for it. Fuck. It's a it's a natural one. It's a natural for one? a total of for a total of eight. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you. Fuck. Walk up behind this creature, and you take this Stygian blade, and you sort of swirl it where you Super spin the blade tricks. forward, yeah. let the counterweight carry it through, and then attempt to go for the stab. And as you do, it's the handle's just slightly longer than you expected. It slips forward. You manage to catch it and thrust forward, but at that point, as you thrust forward, this club just slams down and pushes your blade to the floor. Ah. Bullshit. Uh, that, that is my entire turn. Okay. Got your bit. Oh, <laughs> no. Bell missed. Tria, oh. it is your turn. Poor Hunter. Yo, Wait, doesn't Hunter get a turn? Yeah, ta- yeah, oh. Hunter's turn? Yeah, he does. I'm stupid. Hunter. Oh, okay. I did joke around being surprised. <laughs> Forgotten man, Hunter. I man. do apologize. Hunter, it's your turn. It's because you're I'll already in combat. And yeah. I was like, you're already in melee. I'm um, stupid. Cool. I am guessing on the stat block of the Twin Fists that because it was taken from a dagger, it does not in fact have a range of 2060. No, it doesn't. That's just because I had to give it a weapon property and yeah. D&D Beyond Dag does not easy. have brass knuckles. Indeed. Cool. Your, your monk melee damage still applies with it and it, you just get the benefits it gives. Which is exactly the same because I'm level 4. Yeah. So 1d4. Yeah. Awesome. Time to punch oh. this bitch. Okay. Hell yeah, dude. Falcon punch this motherfucker. Come on. It couldn't just be one higher. Um, many. Many. 27. 27. Was it a natural 19? Yeah, it was. Oh, if only you had one of the other weapons. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That's like true. That's My... not D4, that's D6. Let's try Actually, that no. Dutch is based in... Is Dutch based in his weapon or his boon? I can't remember. I've huh? done a lot of homebrewing chat. My like, weapon makes it so that I create It's your weapon. Higher. Uh, Koibas is his weapon. Mine's my weapon because it's a dash. Yeah. Slash boon. Basically, the weapons that in game, the aspects that give increased crit chance, I've translated that as you crit on like blank or blank. But, you know, it's different for each person. So your first Uh, attack is a hit, Hunter. Really? I'm so surprised. Uh, Mm -hmm. Seven damage. Seven damage? Okay. Uh, Where's our other key points? Pretty sure it is. Yes. And now for three more punches. Okay, roll Flurry of blows. Yeah. That's With a your 11. S- yeah. Go for it. That hits. That, that hit? Okay. Yeah. He's a big guy and he's slow. Like, you watched him. It took his whole turn to move over here. Eight damage. Yeah. That's definitely going to hit if the last one did. 15 plus eight. Yeah. Three, Go for three. it. Another 8 damage. Yeah. Fuck him up, dude. Exactly. Another 15. Yep. Um, and 7 damage. You, you watch... fucking mind, Hunter. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> you watch as Hunter yes. walks up to this thing with these heavy steel gloves on and just makes them look weightless. <laughs> it pummels into the chest of it and the last punch just goes straight through and it... <laughs> into it's smoke nothing. and dust. Oh, I teabag whatever remains there left. Oh, we're not out of initiative yet, baby. Oh, fuck. I'm kidding. We are. <laughs> Don't worry. It's the no. first room. <laughs> <laughs> first room, says Koiba. I'm bringing in my knowledge of the game. Yeah. 
<laughs> my creature is defeated. Hey, what would you guys like to sword. do? Try stabbing it next time. I, I just uh, <laughs> showing off, you know. You guys, you guys had this. Just and like again, Safe. just start doing like tricks with my hand, <laughs> like the sword. Big boy, hand, the big boy like, didn't even get a swing in. You guys, like right now, just demolished what looked. To I mean, be if every room, really if every room, if every room's like that, I think we'll be escaping this place any pretty quickly. Uh, oh, do you know what the best part of that is? It's coming from Koiba. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I, I will start to like look forward. Does it does it look like there's a door? Like, there is a door on the other end of the room. Yes. Anything. Uh, Dutch, you said you were going over to the remains. Oh yeah. Is there anything? Any any loot? The dust and the smoke seems to immediately dissipate, but as that does, seemingly out of nowhere, a number of coins drop onto the ground. <laughs> Yoink. Okay. Yeah. You pick up these coins. They are gold, and they have a. Like a, an embossed diamond on both sides. Oh shit, okay. But on one side, there's no sort of pattern to it. It is just an embossed diamond. And on the other side, there is a mark that... Um, You don't recognize. But... Tria, you would recognize the mark on the coins. Because it's similar to the mark on your spirit. It is the mark of Hades. How many of those coins with the, the embossed diamonds do, do I find? You have found... Uh, you have found 13... What are called obols. Obols? Yeah, obols. Okay. I mean, I am just going to pocket them, and and if nobody stops me to ask for a part, or a cut, I'm just take, keeping it all. Okay. Uh, for the sake of later things that I have planned, uh, we are going to just straight up like shared loot. Every, everyone's oh. like there is, the gold is the same part for everyone, because when you purchase things later, it will be purchased for the party. I see. But, I'm sorry that I stole your happy opportunity of being a. a but we bitch. don't know that currently. We just know. Yeah, I did, yeah. No, no I'm like, just telling you for like, note-taking purposes. Like, yeah. So uh, who wants to be in charge of marking down the money? Well, Dutch, you took the first bit of money. I mean, I took You're the, the first money bit of money, so I guess there I you go. Okay. okay, so there is You're just a family. coin purse for the group. Um. Imagine fucking gatekeeping my roleplay, dude. What a come. Oh, imagine me telling you all before we started that this was going to be. Much more combat than RP focused. True. No, we will make this RP focused. Fuck we will you. make this RP. We're gonna. My we're, money. We're, we're gonna persuade oh, mindless servants. We're just sit here, be like, we don't. Maybe escaping is a mental thing, not a physical yeah. challenge. Oh, maybe you can escape Wait, these cheeks. Oh, well, anyway, uh, uh, I take money. Poison. I put away in whatever fucking pockets or space or my ass for all I care that I have oh, where I yeah. can keep, thing, keep things. <laughs> Okay. And uh, just wait to see what the group does, because I don't want to leave the pack, because I'm a ranger. <laughs> I'm going to head towards the door. Does it seem locked? It does not seem locked, although there are... As you approach the door, mm -hmm. there doesn't appear to be any door handle. Okay. I'm going to check it for traps. Uh, make a check for me. So investigation right mm -hmm. 16 make check does not appear trapped i'm gonna try and just like does it look like i can like lift it or <laughs> anyway like i'm gonna try and like lift up this you See, very skinny scrawny say to just trying to like are you, are you looking at it or are you attempting to i'm looking at the door and i'm going to attempt to okay lift that's it. what i want to know if you're attempting yeah. to lift it make strength check yeah. oh uh, oh, I give a strong. Two minus one is a one. <laughs> okay, well, luckily it's, it's not like a natural one. one. No yeah, way. You're one. convinced that not even Hercules himself could lift this door. Not even oh, Hercules he, himself does... could lift this door. I'm like, <laughs> do I like see him struggle with a door? Absolutely. It's it's I'm very very clear. vocal. I'm doing. I'll, that, uh, you know when you're carrying I'll, something I'll, heavy. I'll give it a crack. You know when you're carrying something heavy, go... you want someone to help you, so you like. Uh, 
is doing that. Is that like you're going to attempt to lift the door? Uh, what does the door look like to me? Like, what do I see? You walk I... over, and it appears to be essentially one large piece of stone mm -hmm. that's just recessed into the wall, and there's like, you know, there's telltale gaps around the side of it. Do I understand fit... how such a door would function? Um, make a history or arcana check for me. Uh, they're both garbage. Nice, dude. Twelve. Twelve. Mm -hmm. You. There's clearly no physical mechanism that you can see. Mm -hmm. So you gather that there must be something magic or arcane about this door. You're not sure what it is? Um. Okay. Did you roll history or arcana? Uh, history. Because I'm not very magically... Like, th my intelligence okay. is garbage. Like, no, that's suck. fine. Um, on the way here, when you were the Nyx, there wasn't any door that you recognized like this, but you did notice that when she approached the doors, they seemed to open. But when I approach such a door, nothing happens? Mm, when you are currently stood at the door now. The rest of you. Can I investigate it, like, magically? Do you want to make an arcana check for it? Yeah. Go for it. Uh... You see me just like look at this little satyr, <laughs> look at the door, just and I just fucking walk away from the door. Twenty two. Right I give up. Yeah. The the carvings on this door are old, like incredibly old, to the point where it's not so much that you're. If arcane sigils are a language, you're not reading English. You're reading like pre-Shakespearean. But you gather the door it's something to do with proximity. Hunter, what do you do? I want to walk over and say open. You walk over and say open? With everyone else there, as you walk over and say open, it opens. <laughs> It's just a mighty touch. What word? Lucky. What word? <laughs> the door stands open in front of you all. Sure. Okay, I'm going to. Let's head on Okay, you walk through the door. Uh, it's weird. This corridor, the only way that you could describe this is a space between spaces. You feel like as you step into the corridor, it's impossibly long. And when you step out of the corridor, you feel like you've stepped directly from the last room and the door closes behind you a loading screen <laughs> sort of uh, i am going to be messing with i'm going to be messing with mm -hmm. like screen sizes and stuff because i've moved this onto a different screen so things aren't the same okay so you it's walk into this room. room this is a much larger room than the last there are a number of these pits again with these spectral shades reaching out and grasping mm -hmm. through them. There are four purple, what appear to be vats or containers of some kind. The top themselves is adorned with almost like a skull carving with a number of spikes sticking off them. There are two decorative statues of Hades in the middle of the room. The decorative statue on the far left appears to be a pillar that juts out of the empty space off past the the platform you're on and that appears to depict some sort of chimera in solid gold to your right there is a 10 foot by 10 foot lion's head carving on the floor that appears to be a sort of gold metallic color that breathes fire 
the lion on the floor. Well, there's a green lion coming, what I assume is where it's from. Green box. No, 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 no. The green lion is... Uh, oh, is that that stuff again? That's the... It's a three-foot shell. Every green square is a three-foot shallow drop into an iron grid where there are a number of these teal shades reaching up through. Can mm. I... Uh, I want to have a little run over. Can I do a like running jump over? Yeah. There is, there is a path to the left if you don't want to jump. Yeah, I would he doesn't like, care about it. I would like to do a running jump. Okay, uh, make your acrobatic check. Yo. I have, so I have this thing. It's going to be hard Murth to fuck up. It's 10 feet. I have, well, I think it's called Myrtle Leaps, and I can add a D8 to the number of feet I can cover. Oh, nice. yeah, because you're a satyr. I'm a satyr. Uh, my acrobatics is a 19. And yeah, I can easily. Cover an extra, I could cover an extra one foot. <laughs> How far would you like to go into the room? Uh, I mean, for now, I just want to go there and then have a look and just be like, just to get more there. But like, let me have a look and then. And you stop there? Room. Yeah, well, land there. Well, he's have doing that. I'll probably approach the like golden lion head. And okay. Check it, give that a look. See what it is. And you want to move all the way up to it or near it or? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll move up to it. It, It's just set in the floor, like, almost like instead of where there's four tiles. There's just one large tile, and it is like a carved lion. I step on it. So you step on it? I'll like, I'll, I like step on it, and then quickly hop off again, see if it, does, see if it responds. You st <laughs> like fully, completely step on it, and then step off. Yeah. Okay. Make a dexterity saving throw. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Uh, brr, hi. Uh, twenty-three. You step on and you feel it sort of clunk and you immediately jump back off. And about roughly six seconds after you stepped on it, from what you now recognize to be small holes in the platform, about 20 spears just shoot up. Trap! And then back down. And this platform backs into place. Yeah, I just got trapped. I'm gonna roll my eyes and go around the left side of the pit. Okay. You start going around the left side? Yeah. Uh, watch what your movement. 40. Uh, make a perception check for you. Oh, cool. Perception. I'm following her and also 40 feet. 10, 15, 20, 20. Oh, sorry. Are you staying with her or are you moving ahead? Because you've got. You yeah, I'll stay with her. On the left. Uh, 15. 15. Mm -hmm. The room appears to be empty. However, the last room was empty until it wasn't. I would like to stealthily go up to the that like pillar that's in front of me. I want to like, like make a stealth check for want... me. Oh fuck yeah, Boy. Uh, nine. Nine. Mm. Yeah. The moment you step forward. Oh, one of these summoning circles appears, oh, and then a second one appears. Oh, Everyone roll initiative. Hey. Oh, better. Oh, a that, little bit that better. That is significantly better. A little bit better, not significantly better, but a little bit better. Wait, what? A little bit better. Oh, okay. Well, that's Garbo and Brilliant. Uh, you watch as two yellow hooded figures rise up out of this same uh, magic circle the smoke forming into these shapes they each hold a staff that seems to have a swirl of purple dark energy around it there's something almost weightless to these as if the actual robes themselves are empty mm. uh, oh yeah it does <laughs> uh okay so uh two 15 to 20. me 18. 18. Like he doesn't trust anyone. Like he just does the game. Was gonna get twenty five twenty. <laughs> He's anyway, not wrong. <laughs> Ten to fifteen. Twelve. Anyone else? Okay. No uh, five to ten. Fucking hell. Oh no. Uh, Bell, what did you get? One. Hunter, what did you get? Twenty one. Twenty. Oh, 
<laughs> when I said 15 to 20. But you didn't say 20 to 25. True. Yeah, dude. Oh, if I say 15, it's because we're level 4. I, I said, oh, none of us got 25 to 20 then, huh? Hmm. And then, like, didn't come oh, off the question. Yeah. And then you know what? Working. Yeah. Suck my dick, you guys. I'm yeah. out here trying to give you a fun combat experience. And we're How here to you? torment you. What's, yeah. I mean, I mean, okay. How dare you uh, try to make us have fun? Hunter. Yeah, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> There we go. Let's put this one on. This is gonna. Be it's fun. actually good because, like, I just realized that going first is bad for me. But Why? I'm very glad that Hunter. Oh, because you I need to be damaged. Colossus Slayer. Yeah, I can do extra damage if I if something's already hit. So if I'm the first one to okay. hit, it's I, take that damage. I'm the opposite. Hunter. I want to be going first. What would you like to do? It is your turn. So my fancy sunbolts. Do they get the buff from the fists? Yes. Awesome. Uh, I would like to move to be within 30 feet of the left one. Of the left one? 5, 10. 10, 10, 10, 10. About here, you can either go forward or right if you want to. Or even left, there is a platform off here. I mean, just straight line to 30 feet away. Straight line, 30 feet? 5, 10, 15. About there. Yeah. If I'm in range, that's good. Cool. Yeah. If it's go glowy. And then. Uh, Iron Man from each gauntlet. Iron Man from fuck each gauntlet. Yeah, dude. That's sick. What the fuck? Just hands up. Pew! Pew! Go for it. Wait, that's so that's too. going to be a. Yeah, what is that? Uh, a 19 and a 20 something. And 19 and 20 something both hit. Cool. Both <laughs> uh, 15 damage total. 15 damage total? Okay. Uh, these two blasts mm. slam and immediately, like, the robes are frayed down one side and burned away. Anything else you would like to do? Nope, that's me all done. Okay. That's rating damage if that matters, by the way. Uh, it does not, because I haven't fucked with any of these having resistances, because I didn't have time. Cool. Uh, Dutch. Is, uh, the one that's being hurt by Monkman, um, within 150 feet of me? <laughs> uh, yes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Can he see it? Yeah, uh, you can't, however. This oh, what? big grey square here. Yeah is a large statue of Hades. You vaguely know that there's something around there because you saw Hunter go pew, Oh, pew. right. I mean, I'll move left 40 feet. Can I see the bad guy then? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. You can, yes. Lit. Is it within 150 feet of me? It is, yes. Sick. I shoot with bow. <laughs> shoot with bow. Make attack roll. Yeah. And because it's hurt, I do more damage. If, I if you hit. Does Hunter's uh, Mark persist to be reapplied? Uh, definitely What's the duration of Actually, attack? yeah. It's an hour, I think, by default. An hour? Yeah, so, so you can bonus action I apply just... Hunter's Mark if you want. Yeah, I don't have to, like, recast it. No, you're right. Yeah, bonus action. Fucking move Hunter's Mark to that guy. Yeah, Fuck there it. you go. Yeah. Uh, roll? I rolled a dirty 20 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Sick. And the extra D8 because of my Colossus Slayer, right? Mm-hmm. Nice, dude. Wait, your Colossus Slayer, just any damaged creature, right? It doesn't have to, it's not Once per turn yeah. when I hit a creature with weapon attack. Cool. Just checking. Yeah. Go for it. Um, so that is a total of... Uh, 13, 18 points of damage. 18 points of damage? Yeah. Holy fuck. And you mm. completely, again, release... Arrow immediately appears with a flash of light into the center sternum of this creature. And uh, it is completely evaporated. Fuck yeah, dude. Nice. It is now the witch that was evaporated's turn. Fuck. But it is evaporated. However, immediately 
after this, a number of sigils light up again. And out of these oh. sigils, uh, what are akin to essentially floating skulls, but they're shrouded in this orange light. Their eyes glow red with fire. And they are going to move forward. One's going to move towards Hunter. And mm -hmm. one is going to move towards... Let's just check its speed. Uh, I don't five. think it has enough, I don't think it has, has enough speed to get to me, though. Ah, funny. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Right, stay away. <laughs> it's going Ow. to... Uh, hey, freak. Mm. Yeah, you're closest. These things are Oh, you freak. Stay away. <laughs> it's going to dash towards you, but that is its turn. <laughs> Uh, oh, the other one, down. however, is going to attempt to make a bite attack at you, Hunter. This is a 19 to hit. Fuck. I take it that hits. Yeah, that's piercing. You <laughs> take 8 points of piercing damage as it just comes forward and immediately chomps into your arm. Mm. You feel like you're pretty sure that it broke some of its own teeth biting down, but the force itself, like, immediately causes your arm to tense up and almost, like, bend back towards you as you can feel it hit the sinews. Ow. Boy, but it is your turn. It's my turn. I will bonus action disengage. Okay. And I'm just going to go right and up to the fucking witch. Yeah, sure. So, 5, 10, 15, 20... 30, 30, 40, you can make it yep. into melee there. Cool. Uh, because uh, it hasn't had a turn yet, I get advantage to attack it. Go for it. Oh, nice. Sweaty nerve. 18 to hit. 18 hits, yep. Cool. And then, because I got advantage, I get to sneak attack. Do you? I'm not yep. sure about that. Yep, that's I'm how that sure works. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure how that works, my guy. I'm not sure if I can allow it. Yeah, of course you can. Go for it. Bruh, fuck yeah. Been cringe if you said no. Well, wow, I'm so used. To, I was about to fucking re-roll some numbers then. I'm so used to doing that with my dice, but yeah. I'm playing a different character. <laughs> I'm going to re-roll this and that. Oh wait, no, no, you don't. don't. Get to do shit. I get shit number, I have to keep it. <laughs> what do you get? Every time I roll initiative. I know, right? Uh. Uh, what the fuck is under 13 points of damage? 13 points of damage? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry for the constant yawning, dude. I'm so fucking tired. Cool. I know. I, I, you're um, yawning. me fucking yawn. I'm just like, every time you guys are doing stuff, I'm just double checking your boons and your weapons no, to make sure you're not missing my... shit because I know that we're all using no. new shit. My, we um, my weapon's on my, like. How much damage special. did you say again? Sorry? 18? 13. 13. 13. 13. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. It is now this witch's turn. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> bonk. Not bonk. Yeah, I mean, you're fucking it up. It doesn't like you at all. Uh, oh, yeah. So it's gonna point this staff at you. And three orbs form around the head of the staff and come shooting at you. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I yeah. hate you. I don't, have to, I don't even get a save against her or anything. <laughs> uh, that is a... Oh no! That is a... Uh, 15 to hit. Just hit. And then the next two are 19s. Yeah, uh, So you hit. take... I'm fucking dead, lad! <laughs> You're not dead, lad. <laughs> oh, oh, my name's Sato Koima! Oh, I'm gonna die in the second room. Classic Koiba move. True. Classic. Hades I mean, Soko through. isn't here to fulfill that part of it. True. Uh, I mean, oh, I am the person who dies. Oh, that's a ten. You so take nineteen it. points of force damage. What the fuck? Why do you do so much damage? <laughs> because it close range so shotgunned you with dark energy. Like this was Eldritch Blast to the chest. Couldn't have just had me. Roll because I get advantage of the saving throws against spells and other magic. Yeah, effects. yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not one of those spells, my guy. This is the first time you've seen one of these attack, and you all, those of you that can, in fact, yeah, all of you can see it. Just 
straight close range three orbs shoot into uh i can't remember your fucking character's name odino odino's chest and like it it like they seem to pass through at first and you think that they've missed and then as they fizzle out behind him you realize that just like where they made contact on either side of his body there's just this seared like purplish tinge to the skin and to the uh, clothing does not look good and he is immediately i think you're bloodied from this right like i am bloodied you he's immediately like le on the, on the back foot looking very uncomfortable uh it is bell's turn what it's my turn yeah okay. yes, uh, ma'am. you're down here yeah can i read just redirect my witch bolt that i had already done from the last fight mm. the duration spell uh, double check. Which bolt cannot be reapplied. I'm pretty sure it can't. I'm pretty sure it's single target. Uh, yeah, no, it's the same target. Uh, so you can't, unfortunately. Your witch bolt ended when that creature died, and even if it hadn't, it's only a minute. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna jump over the thing, the 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 pit. You're gonna jump Sorry. over the pit? Yeah. Make uh, an athletics or acrobatics check. Okay. I just imagine well, something like. Yeah. Uh, never mind. Uh. Plus two, so dirty 20. Dirty 20, yep. Easily. Uh, I kind of want to go diagonally to the right. Okay, your movement's 40? Yeah. How far do you want to go? Uh. Just you can get here easily, and then you've got about another 20 feet of movement. About 15, actually. Go 10 foot closer to the guy on the left. There? Yeah. And then I'm going to make a charge attack with my weapon. Like my spear. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Charge spin. But you're going to do a charge spin with your spear? Yeah, Yo, dude. we're getting to see people use the infernal arms. Okay. Yeah. So for charge spin, you expend one charge. Yep. Uh, so make sure that you keep track of this. Um, you will, those of you that are close enough or not currently dying, uh, see Tria grab this spear, and where she was holding it in sort of like a combat ready stance, she swaps position, swaps grip on it, brings it back, and immediately swings forward, and it's like a blur it just carves through everything in like a 10 foot radius somehow you're not sure entirely how but it's somehow not hitting anyone friendly oh so i am dead then so. no <laughs> you're, you're not you're not dead and this creature needs to make a dexterity saving throw yeah so these are just like floating scullies? Yes. That is a fail. Uh, okay. So, Five. Ten. Yeah. Ten, uh, force damage. Ten force damage? Yep. Yeah, this thing... You see it dissect into two, but the top half still floating and the bottom half still floating, and then just immediately Thanos snap fizzles away. Yeah, bitches. However, oh, man. you do notice that That's the cool. purple barrel with yeah. like the intricate carved skull and spikes. Oh fuck! Now that you've carved into it with your weapon, it's suddenly lit up and glowing. Yeah, it was probably gonna do that. Anyway. That's not my fault. I don't know if that's true. It's not my fault. I didn't do anything to do that. No? No, 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 no. No, no you're, okay. you're, you're fucking spin the wind thing. move. Didn't accidentally cut it a few, a few times? No? No. Interestingly. Oh, it was going to do that anyway. Interesting. <laughs> Interestingly, it's now back to the top of the turn order. And because it is the top of the turn order, any lit barrels 
Okay, boom, boom. Uh, I need more, more, more. That Wait, is that so? That is that Skullboy dead or not? Yeah, yeah. he's gone. I mean, okay, okay, okay. Uh, you are just outside it, Hunter. So, Bell, I need you to make a dexterity okay, saving throw for Ten. me. <laughs> I'll do it. No boys, ten foot range on the fucking barrel. Oh hell yeah! Okay, saving throw, saving throw, saving throw. Go as much. That was like, oh hell yeah! I blew myself up. Woo! Oh hell yeah! Get ton of stream. What'd you get? I'm sorry. Nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. You take. Do 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 do. One million. Points. Five points of fire damage as the uh... barrel just explodes and this viscous liquid immediately ignites. Ooh. And then seemingly seeps away through the floor and it's gone. Did you say five? Yeah. Okay, cool. No, that was like, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter, I'm it is your turn. Cool. Get it. Uh... You, like, just felt the heat from this explosion. You're pretty sure that you might have lost a few eyebrow hairs. Nah. But you seem to be fine. You're welcome. Let me just actually retrieve that dice, which I fucking had. Yeah, oh, what a balland. He's rolling his d 22 yeah. don't believe him. There we go, fine. Uh, He's rolling a d23, did you say that? I'm gonna get out, it's 22. Yeah, d22. Come the d22, come 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 okay. Come sorry, 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 not bad, not bad. Uh, I will move to be the near side, but bottom left of the green thing, just underneath it. Which green thing? This one or this yep, one? Yep, that. This one? Th yeah, that one. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. There. You can get here. You can't move diagonally here unless you want to try and jump across. So, it would take 30 feet of movement to get here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, and let's try and blast this skull out of existence. Okay. Uh, roll your first attack. 18. Uh, yeah, roll damage. Nice. How much is supposed to plus? 10 damage. Okay. Next attack. Is it still there? It is. That's slightly annoying. Kill it! Hmm. Ah, other people can help, Koiba. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he's a uh, 23. Of other people. Yep. Yeah. Uh, roll damage. Uh, 9. It. Like, this time, there's not even a puff of dust. There's just a light goes through it, and it's gone. Like a fucking shitty magic trick. Nice. All right. Oh, so Iron Man is a shitty magician. Yes, right. Iron Man is a shitty magician. Confirmed. And then if uh, I can move ten feet down and right, so I can see Koiba get killed, that'd be great. Absolutely. Nice. Perfect, that's a wonderful that, view. So. That is your turn. <laughs> unless you wish to do anything with your bonus action. No, that is my bonus action. Hmm? Attack with one hand, attack with ah, the other hand. Yeah, okay. The flurry of blows is when I can attack imagine, three times. Imagine. Imagine having multiple attacks at level four. Uh, Dutch. It's your turn. Where the fuck have I put uh, my cigarette papers? Well, I'm seeing Homeboy over there getting fucking destroyed. Homeboy just got his shit kicked in. So I use my bonus action to move my hunter's mark to the final remaining adversary. Yep, immediately you train your bow on this enemy and and I shoot. Make an attack roll. Daddy O. Game before that one kills Koiba. Natural <laughs> 19. So that's a crit. This is right? a crit for you. <laughs> and uh, Colossus Slayer, right? Because it's been damaged already? Uh, I, I mean, if you've crit, unless you roll really low, it's dead. It doesn't matter. Go for it. Go, give, us that, give us that big dick damage. Don't just want to so OP. Bow is so good. <laughs> Bow is so much oh better. Oh my god. 40 points of damage. <sighs> yeah, I mean, this thing like... You loose the arrow, and again, like, there's this flash of light as it appears. But it's just like, there's this brief moment where you look up, Koiba, and there's just this arrow floating dead set in midair. 
Because there's nothing there anymore. Whatever it went through is gone. And then the arrow just sort of dissolves and dissipates. I like it. Look back. Just like... like it. You didn't feel the presence of it like past you, but you're convinced that you're missing about three hairs. No, it's like um, fuck. Like before What's that fucking? Yeah, like fucking how Sylvanas her bow works, right? And wow, it's kind of like a. Like immediately as, as she yeah. fucking let's go. Like it's purplish fucking thing. At least as far as you know, instantaneous. Fuck it, that's sick. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, since I'm now a dedicated point burst, I'll go around and see if there's any loot anywhere. Okay. <laughs> You're looking shit. for the old bulls? Yeah. Uh, and plus anything else. Like, I just go about like all the places where we killed shit and see if there's anything worth yeah. picking up. Yeah, I mean, there is uh, another 10 old bulls on the ground. There doesn't seem to be anything else. There are still three of these p uh, pinky purple barrels. Yeah, uh, and I'll walk I'll over to uh, Koiba. Hello. And I'll put my hand on his shoulder and cast Cure Wounds. Aww. Aww. For all that healing. What did you say, Hunter? Uh, I want to blow the barrels up. You want to blow the barrels up? By way I will make sure that people aren't next to them. Okay. I will say for the sake of brevity, hit points, without people in the way, you shoot each of the barrels, they light up, and you notice that roughly six seconds later, they kablamo. How much cool. did you heal him for, sir? Seven. Hog. Oh. He's I'm no longer bloodied. Yeah. Nice. I did my job. Still an idiot, though. <laughs> okay. My guy actually has the intelligence of 15, <laughs> weirdly. <laughs> there is an empty room. There are a number of decorative items in this room. There are uh, small pots, ceramic pots everywhere. There are a number oh, of dude. carvings within dude. the wall. Dude. Dude. I start trampling the fuck out of pots, bro. I start just swiping my sword at them. Just yeah. You find I that can... all of the pots contain nothing other than what? ash. Oh, oh not... See, now I feel bad. I don't. <laughs> that was like someone's like burial, like that someone's like remains that we just fucked up. I will... I mean, nothing else in the room. I'll, I'll have a quick little scan, but if there's nothing else in the room, I'll head no. towards. Can I see a door? You can see a door. Yeah, I will go up to it and go open. Like, uh. Hello, Humora. Why do you not want to fucking okay. select shit game? Because that's Koiba, not touch. No, like, even when I click Koiba, <clears throat> it doesn't want to. Did you put it on the wrong layer? <coughs> no, there we go. Oh. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's fine. fine. You no, walk up to the that. door and you say, yeah. "Open." It does not open. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> Hunter, what are you doing? We all have to be at the door. Huh? We all have to be at the door for it to oh, open. Well, they... Oh, yeah. it's one of them ones. Fucking party tethering. Okay, did I see how it is? <laughs> I'll uh, I'll approach the door as well. Get you approach the door. Over. Is yeah. everyone else moving to the door? Yeah. You all move oh, to make the door. I'll make sure I'm last and say open as I get there. As you get there and say open, the door opens. What is this witchcraft? Okay. Show off. Again, another one of those incredibly weird, impossible corridors. And you step through into a room. This room, smaller than the last, there are two smaller statues in this room. Uh, one of them appears uh, to depict Hades again. This time standing with a different spear than the one that Tria is wielding. And the other statue, none of you recognize. But it appears to depict uh, a very muscular man uh, with a, again. Okay, my, boy Her my boy Hercules, dude? No. Again, boy. a spear uh, with a much smaller point. Uh, this is much more of a traditional spear and much less of the trident that Hades wields with a long billowing cloak. Between these two statues, there is a lion's head plate again. Trap! <laughs> I will go, I'm gonna, s once we get into the room, I would like to skirt across the left hand wall. I'm okay. just gonna go up. How are you moving? I'm fucking with my legs. Ah, uh, are you walking or are you stealthing? Ah, oh, nah, I, uh, I'm. Ah, oh, fuck, I'll stealth. Okay, make a stealth check. 
I would like to prepare Iron Man gauntlets to Iron Man people. Okay. Yo, 14. 14? Yeah, I just want to go across the left hand wall and just. Um, Ethan, mm -hmm. whenever you feel like the hour is passed for Hunter's Mark, just let me know, alright? Okay, cool. Time is definitely unusual here. You're not. It's very. Other than yeah, like, I just don't want you to like... know the duration of your spells, other than that, it's very yeah. difficult to tell time. Time? <laughs> time has actually never moved here. Because... You have forever Hunter's Mark. <laughs> nice. It's unusual, right? When you're in these corridors between the platforms, where you're completely mm -hmm. surrounded by darkness and walking on darkness, you feel yeah. like you're in there for so long. But then when you step out, like, if you look behind you before the door closes, it's only, like, maybe 20 feet. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you're moving stealthily. Uh... Hunter has readied his gauntlets. Uh, I want to yeah, I'll move, I'll move my 445. approach yeah. the thing that I'm convinced is a trap. Okay. Uh, are you moving stealthily or are you just approaching the trap? Uh, I uh, Nah, I don't stealth, bro. I'm okay. Gonna... Uh, and I want to see move... if there's a way to like yeah, okay. disarm it. Make, like, I'm, uh, just, I'm just like, I see Golden Lion Head, I'm like, this is a trap. So my dude is, I'm like, okay, see if I can turn it off somehow. So we can walk there. Hmm. Make a straight intelligence check. I'm dumb. Six. Six. Yeah. Plus Maybe if you weighted it down and then all the spears would stay up and then it wouldn't be a trap anymore. True. Um, I don't do that though. Bell. Just wait there and see. Yeah. What would you like to do? Uh, I would like to follow after quite up. Okay. Are you moving stealthily? Yeah, I'm moving like cautiously. Roll a stealth check for me. Where is my dice slash balloon? I can't imagine a center trying actually moving stealthily though. I mean, they can try. I'm pretty sure they don't racially have disadvantage on it, but... No, it's just... They walk quietly. She's got slippers on. Right, oh, okay, that's a plus zero, so like, 14. 14? Yeah. I think that's about what, what Koiba rolled. I have plus seven. And you rolled a 14? That's yeah. Seven. Okay. You both get there, yep. Yeah. Um... Nothing seems to happen. Nice. I will move further up the room then, and like towards the door, just kind of like again on that side. Okay. How far would you like to go? All the way to and the I'll door. Go. I'll go up to the fucking door. Okay. Uh, Bell, what would you like to do? I'm doing the same thing. 10, 15, 20, 20. Yeah, I'll say you can get to the door with Baby Wavy. Uh, Hunter. Are you staying at the door with your action ready? Hmm. Ah, screw up. Let's be sneaky on the left side like they have. Okay, roll a stealth check for me. <laughs> you guys are all being so stealthy and I'm about to fuck it up here. Uh, where, where's stealth? <laughs> That'd be a 23. Uh, yeah, silently. As the night. You get to about there. Uh, Dutch. That is too what would you like to do? I'll dodge, please. Would I be able to jump over the pressure plate? Uh, make an acrobatics or athletics check. My favorite thing about this, this is all going to be stealth. In fact, like before you do that, oh. what are your modifiers to acrobatics and athletics? Uh, plus two for acrobatics, plus four for athletics. You're reasonably confident that you could jump over this without touching it. You could definitely get it over. Uh -huh. It's whether or not you right. can land without touching it enough to trigger the trap. Okay. I heard the bell. So we stealthy, and then suddenly we're just gonna hear it like, <laughs> like absolutely. Like I'll do a little romp and shit. Like... Okay. Uh, Twelve. You make it across. Cool. However. Oh, here we go. No. <laughs> it's a <about> boxing. <laughs> Who has the highest intelligence in the group? 
Not me. <laughs> Not me. I'm fucking stupid. I have 13. I have 15. 15. I'm a smart boy. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm wise. Big I'm a big dumb. Koiba. Hello. Just make a straight intelligence check for me. Straight intelligence check? Yeah. Intelligence. Before we go into initiative. Uh, dirty 20. You are beginning to notice a pattern where the enemies you've so fought so far don't seem to have been triggered necessarily by those of your party that are stealthy, but also don't seem to be triggered until a less stealthy individual has passed a certain threshold into the room. So it's about That's like, it's, so it's not about stealth, it's more about like where in the room they've got to. It's more like if someone mm. hits just a random part of the room. There appears to be a number of, a distance you can move into the room without being stealthy before the sentries will trigger. Or if okay. you're moving stealthily enough, you can avoid triggering them entirely. Okay. Oh, homeboy really like appeared right in front of me, huh? Yeah. Immediately next to you, one of these. Ooh. Uh, robed witches appears, and Yay. about ten feet behind you, there's this large spectral floating hand, about the size of your torso, with a number of oh. chains draped off and a shackle. Are kind of uh, any of you proficient in religion? I am. I Me too. So. Those of you that are proficient in religion uh, would know that this is a ringer. A ringer uh, is a physical like manifestation. W? of the souls of those condemned for thievery the shape it takes like, like represents ringer as in like w r i -N -R. yeah ringer is in to ring something um yeah. as in like to, to no, ringer and... like, ring <laughs> like to ring something yeah yeah um these are the physical manifestation of uh souls that have been condemned for thievery uh, the chains actually appear to hang from a shackle that's on the hand, and they represent the traditional punishment for thievery, where you would have your hand removed. Uh, I would like everyone to roll initiative. Is that eight? Is that eight? Hold up. Uh, do 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 do. Okay. Um. Anyone get twenty plus? Twenty one. Nice. Anyone yeah. get fifteen to twenty? Eighteen. Uh, Eighteen for Hunter. Fifteen for Dutch. Yes. Bell, what did you get? Two. Two. Hell. Okay, I didn't think you would be going last, but you are. Because the the witch has a three. Okay, Koi, but you are first up. Okay. Hmm. You have got to the door and you turn around. And there's just two of these shades. Oh, that's two of these wretches, as they are called. Okay, so what I'll do is I will move to be in that square that's just to the right of Dutch. Uh, the one between Dutch and the statue? Yeah. Uh, if I... Yeah. And then as a bonus action... Oh, here we go, baby! I will Nova Smash. So I will take Yay. my blade and just slam it into the ground. I need both those to make a D, uh, fifth, uh, con save, please. Uh-huh. Okay. A D, a uh, do you have the witch definitely fails. The okay. ringer passes. I have a question. Yeah. Because this is technically my first attack, do I get sneak attack on it? Sneak attack. Does it specify that it has to be a weapon attack? When you hit with an attack. Oh, an attack with a finesse, finesse or ranged weapon. Never mind, cool. Yeah. No, I would say that because this is an ability of the sword, you're not directly hitting it, so you don't get a sneak attack. And then like an extra D6 Radiant because of my boon? Yeah, you do. An extra D6 Radiant. Damage. It's like pink energy. Yeah, you uh, will see this. It's almost like a 
visual representation of a, of a sonic boom immediately ejected from the sword. And you can see where it passes through the spirits, they vibrate. And not so much the ringer, but definitely the witch. There's this seeping of like pink energy uh, that seems to be somewhat burning through the side of this witch. So those that failed get pushed back 10 feet as well. So the witch gets pushed back 10 feet from you. I take five points of damage. I rolled dog shit. Okay. Yeah. So the witch takes five points of damage, yeah. uh, which oh, will be yeah. two for the ringer. And on its next turn, it does half damage. The witch is now considered weak. Uh, then as my action, mm -hmm. actually, I'll then use the rest of my movement. If I can go like, do I, hmm, do I have enough space to go around the statue to the okay. right to get okay. next to it? Uh, yeah, you could get hit. Yeah, that, that would, would be like all of your there. movement. I'd like to get there. Yep. I've got 45 movement, and then as my action, I will attack it. Okay. Uh, make an attack, bro. Oh uh, because I have gone before, and because it hasn't had its turn initiative yet, I get advantage. Yeah. Dude. Cobra <laughs> 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 rolls. That's a uh, that's a nine. <laughs> that does not. Hit. I rolled. I rolled a one and a two. Lit. Nice. So hit. your arm is still completely numb from this Nova strike. You've never done this before. You just instinctively knew how. Right. And as you swing, you feel that you you know it's going wide before you even get close. Not to mention how hard you know it's pretty hard to fit a fucking floating hand. It just sort of lifts up. I rattle right on now. the chains a little bit, like. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is that uh, your turn? I start fucking crying. Uh, because, I mean, that's my turn. Okay, cool. Oh, you have moved into <laughs> melee with the ringer. Yep. <laughs> that was maybe not a good idea. It is now the ringer's turn. <laughs> oh, get fucking And Quiver knows what these it. are from playing the game. I was gonna get it. I get advantage, dude. <laughs> like, come uh, on. What, that is a <laughs> fifteen to hit. Oh yeah, that hit. Okay. Uh, do me a favor. Hello. Make a strength save for me. A strength save. <laughs> yep. Twelve. Oh, oh, wait. You this is a magical effect. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say no. Twelve. Okay. Uh. You take three points of bludgeoning damage, I guess would be the closest. 73 points damage. Uh, as you are whacked in the side with this chain that immediately wraps around you, you are considered stunned. Stunned? So, homie really kind of took a bullet from me, huh? Yeah. Appreciate it. He really did. Uh, Hunter, it is your turn. Cool. Let's see if I can whack which. Okay, you beaming or sun. punching? I am beaming. For 23. That hits. Nine Thanks. damage. Yeah. And are you hitting again? So it's not dead. Go. Cool. It is still alive. I will whack it again. Well, is it? For 26. It, uh, technic it's about as alive as you are. You hit it again, go for it. Okay. That uh, hits. 26 to hit, uh, 10 damage. 10 damage? It's looking rough. It is looking very rough indeed. Ooh, yeah. Now, call me paranoid. Mm. But I want to move south, so I'm behind the statue. Sure. Easily done. Um, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh okay. boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Dutch, it is your turn. Okay. Can I, yeah, uh, use my boom, mm -hmm. which is called uh, my blade dash, because uh -huh. uh, it leaves a 10 foot radius sphere. Can I make it so that that hits the ringer, but not my satyr pal? Uh, let me double check what I sent to you. It's it, whatever I like it. it 
summons a sphere. Mm, yours is any radius. Do you want to hit the position. ringer? I want to hit the like yeah. I want to hit the ringer, but not with. Okay. Uh, you could essentially step back. Uh, no, Doesn't you really could you could do it from there. You could. It would take your bonus action to initiate the dash. Yeah. But you could form the circle there. Sick. Uh, so I'll do that, and I want to dash towards uh, like the uh, like side wall. Okay. So that I'm out of the way there. Oh, okay. Give me uno momento. Because... Yeah, because the ringer will take damage once it starts its turn. That's fine. Like a little delayed effect, but whatever. There's now just a red swirly there with blades and shit. Uh, mm. So while uh, I'm waiting for that time bomb yeah. to explode, essentially. Okay. So uh, you will see as this center sort of you see the shoulders dip slightly and then just full sprint faster than you've seen him move before and as he does there's just this swirling vortex of black and red blades that's left spinning where he was stood about 10 feet 10 foot radius it is terrifying yeehaw so yeah, I uh, yeah I move myself towards like the left hand side wall, and while I wait for that like swirl to do its thing, mm. I use my action to uh, shoot the fucking the, the, the wretch witch. You wanna move uh, there and then shoot the witch? Yeah, like, go for like, it. All the way to the left. Roll on attack. If you wanted to, you can move into this corner as well. Uh, nah, um, it's kind of okay. Like a cool. Guy. I mean, that's that's natural 18, so that's a crit, right? It's a crit. If you want to roll damage for the big dick, go for it, but it's dead. Uh, it gets Colossus Slayer as well, right? Because it's yeah. damage. Jesus, and Hunter's Mark, don't forget Hunter's Mark. Uh, no, because he's my bonus action to uh, uh, do the thing, so I can't. Dutch. Jesus what? Christ, can your dick get any bigger? <laughs> I mean, I got a weapon that makes me crits, like... <laughs> A lot. Yeah, what the know. fuck is this colossal damage as well? That's lit. Yeah, it's my for my. I for mean, my yeah, Ranger like. I, that's. I, that's he's playing an Ranger. Ares Ranger. What do you expect? Yeah, I, uh, I went. I went uh, Hunter Ranger, which is just like, oh, you, you hit something. Things. Oh. You hit something that is already damaged. Here's extra damage. I like how we went other sides of the I went. If nothing's gone before I get advantage, I can like <laughs> big dick assassinate straight away. And you, uh, went, you two synergize really well. If I fucking 12, hit. 12, 20, 12 plus 14 is 26 plus 2, 28 points of damage. It's dead. Like, it's, again, once again, this arrow appears. God. Yeah, maybe, maybe Ranger is pretty good, guys. And to change my mind. this time, yeah. you firing it because you're actually looking at the creature, you mm -hmm. see the arrow appear and immediately just psh, gone. So that, okay. uh, which I mean, is that's, dead. Yeah, that's my... That's my action bonus action. To, mm -hmm. uh, that'll be it. I'll just turn my attention towards my red swirly that I created and just wait for that to do its thing. Cool. Okay. Next up. Bell. Bell yeah, that's me. me. Uh... How far are we talking? Uh, you are... So this here. It's yeah, a yeah. large swelling vortex of blades. Very uh, nice. You can see the ringer on the other side. It is about about forty feet from you. Sick. I'm gonna cast. Imagine having spells. Hex. You're gonna pass the hex. As a bonus action. Go for it. I'm on cast hex. Yes. Uh... I'm on cast hex. Hex okay. is basically Hunter Smart with extra stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay, okay so <laughs> that is your spell. Yeah, it's a bonus action. Yeah, it is. And what would you like to do as your action? As my action... Hmm. Let me check the spear again, because I, I think I can do a thing. I think I can do a thing. You can do many things with your spear. Do you want me to tell you, or do you want me to read it yourself? I'm reading. Right. Bell, are you reading right, right now? Mom. Bell, are you reading? Bell, Bell, are you reading? Bell? <laughs> Got uh... you. Yeah, can... I'm, I'm gonna eat it. You're gonna eat it? I'm gonna eat it. 
I'm going to yeet it at him. So You I'm watch the centaur. Take this spear. Throw it up slightly. Catch it underneath. And just straight okay. throws it. And you watch as it goes over the top of the blade rift in a straight line. Centaur uh, gang. Centaur gang. Make an attack roll. Uh, it's the same as your melee yeah. to hit with it. I'm like a half center and just a goatman. Oh, hell yeah. That's a dirty 20. Furry yeah, gang. that hits. And you watch as the spear paces the wretch and keeps on going. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, until it collides with this wall here. In the bottom right corner, it collides with the wall. And that is... 8 damage. 8 damage? Yep. Piercing okay. damage. It's, uh, yeah, it did not like that at all. And you see the spear uh, hit the wall, and then immediately the spear <gasps> turns okay, almost like a white crystalline and then shatters. Oh, sick. And it's back in her hand. So fucking cool! <laughs> so cool! Man, the spear's probably the, it's the fucking best. <laughs> oh, I debated giving her Aspect of Hades, but I felt like that was maybe a little too overpowered. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Uh, did you roll your extra guy, damage for your hex? Uh, no. No. Fucking hell. No. I forgot. That's a D6. Get a 1D6 for your hex. Yeah. Did you roll your cold damage oh, as no, well? I did. I did. It was uh, 6 for the hex. Did you roll your cold damage? Uh, plus 2 for cold damage. Do I roll that twice for the spell and the spear? Uh, no. It's, it's, it's like per two. attack, so you can stack 10 ton of shit, but it's like per Sick. attack, essentially. Okay, just if, there's, if the spell did the damage before the weapon hit, then yeah. But because it's all one damage roll, essentially, you only get yeah. it once. Bro, this soundtrack kind of slaps, bro. Oh, yeah, it really does. It's fucking so slapped hard. Um, can we use this for dungeon select? Like the I'm pretty sure, but I need to. I want to get clarification. Yeah. Got you, got you, got you. Um, yeah, they're okay. vague on their... Uh... Yeah, it's very vague in terms of like affiliated channels. We're fine on here because we're not affiliated like, yet, but... True. Um, Kuiba. It's me again. You are stunned. Oh. My G. Yeah. Do I get to save, do I save from stun or is it just that one turn I'm stunned? Let me double check because I actually again. figured these things out. Uh... You cool. are just stunned. I do not know how long this for. So, oh, it I is, don't know how long for. I don't get now, to save again. No. Oh, that's fucking major cringe, dude. You don't that's know how cringe. long for. <laughs> it is now the ringer's turn. Dutch, please roll 2d8 for me. You had it. Oh. And maybe it'll die, Quiba. Because of my swirly. Who knows? Well, I've done nothing. From Ten? hit. 10 damage? <laughs> yeah. The vortex of blades begins to suck and draw in. You see it almost elongate as this smoke, sort of semi physical hand is sucked in, and then you see one of the chains get caught. And it just gets reeled in like a fucking hot dog down a garbage disposal. Just shred it. Nice. You are no longer stunned. Hey. The ringer is dead. I got you, fam. 7,000 more things spawn in front, just right next to me. I'm right. assuming you're going to get obols. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the walking, I'm a walking. Get yeah, another 11. What okay. would you guys like to do? Go to the door. I mean, I'll check see if there's anything else, but I assume there's not. There's oh. decorative items again, pots, and no. like there's a Any bench in the corner different? that's now broken. Any pots look different? Oh, okay. uh, no, because I have not put in a mechanic for oh. golden pots, Koiba. Oh, you enough. little metagamey shit. Everyone it's moves to the door. Game, I'm assuming that Hunter it. waits until last, walks yeah. up to the door, says open, the door opens. Why um, are you? What is special about you that you get to open up the doors? All right, <laughs> don't understand. Luck. Um, <laughs> who do we feel yeah, is like the luckiest of the group right now? Uh, I would like you to very quickly pick someone, all of you. Who's the what? Who's the what? Amongst the four of you, just pick like whoever's the luckiest. Just pick someone. Hunter. Koiba. <laughs> the unluckiest. All right, Bell. Pick someone in the group. Uh, a hunter. Dutch. Me. Smile. Okay. Well, Hunter got two votes. Hunter, roll a D eight. 
for me. I've got a D9. Do you want me to pour that instead? <laughs> no. Thank you, but no. You're gonna you're gonna go on a date. Delay. Three. Or in English, three. Interesting. You walk oh, through the door. The fuck does that mean? You walk through the door into this room. It's uh, uh, number. a number of large pillars. Yay! We definitely, we definitely didn't see the ringer, so you just I mean, the ringers are going to be there because I haven't had a chance to hide anything. No, you know they're there. there. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll just say that the moment you enter this room, <clears throat> they're already floating there because sometimes in Hades, the enemies are already there. Yeah, yeah. and they're just kind of not doing anything. Roll oh, initiative. Oh. Like... Yeah. Yeet. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, my legs. Oh, wait, that's the wrong dice. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no! Ethan? Yeah? I did not get a single digit number this time. Okay, oh. give me. One oh, you moment. got a uh, Okay. Did anyone three. get above 20? Nope. Okay. 15 to 20. 16. 16. Dutch got 18, Bill got 16. No. I got 16. Yes, well. I also got 16. Which one of you has the higher decks? Fucking me. I'm the rogue. 16 decks. What did you get, Hunter? 8. 8? You've okay. already got 16 decks. So the highest I can have on standard array, fuck you. Mega fucking someone. being a piece of shit about it. The oh, first the turn time goes to the ringer on the left. Oh, ringer. Ringer. <laughs> Start playing the backpipe that I don't have because I'm tired. Oh my god, I've got backpipe as well. I've actually got a backpipe. Mm. I've got proficiency in backpipe. I've got proficiency in backpipes. <laughs> uh, it's going to move here and it is going to attempt to attack you, Dutchie Poo. Oh, suck my balls. That my is horse a... Gone. an 18 to hit. Eat my horse gone. Uh, I would like you to make a DC 15 strength save, please. Strength save? Point save. Ew. You take one point of damage. Oh, shit. Uh, strength save seven. You are considered stunned. Oh, I'm a it is your turn. Dick. You are stunned. You may not pass go. You do not get a saving throw. It is ringer number two. Which is this one. It's gonna bully the centaurs. Oh, uh, fucking clip clop cunt. Does not hit you, Bell. It is a natural two. Uh, that is its turn. It is Koiba. Oh, I. Uh, hmm. I got yes. the one that was attacking my my centaur friend on the left, the bow, mm -hmm. my bow man. I go yeah, You're going over to that one? Yeah. Because he saved your life earlier? Where yeah. do you want to be? Because you've got enough movement to I'll be, be anywhere. Left, I'll be left side of him, so like directly. So you're left. flanking? Yes, please. I figured oh, as dude, much. Dude, fuck him up, king. And I get advantage. Yeah. Yo! Right? Yo! I mean, I get six again because you're engaged with it. Yo, natural oh, 20. True. Natural 20. Oh. oh, big boy damage. And you've oh, got... Why my BP hard? You've got assassin damage. You've got sneak attack. It's a crit, so double all your dice. I mean, I don't get any extra damage for it being an assassin. Uh, not yet. Not yet. No, it's... it's, it's okay. Yeah, I just but, get 2d6 sneak attack. Okay. So you get 2d6. And then my 1d6 from my bleed. So 3d6 doubled. Yeah. yeah. Yo, I rolled shit again on my attack. And you get oh, your crit damage from Aphrodite. I don't get crit You're damage from Aphrodite. Oh no, it's on your special, isn't it? I'm stupid. I'm Look, I've made about Apple seven titty. different beans. It's my, if, only, if only you'd rolled well for a dice spoon, huh? And my, and my special can't even fucking crit because I don't roll dice for it. I just do nope. it. It's fucking garbage. What? Uh, my sword doesn't do a nice 21 thing. Po 21 points of damage. It... Fucking like it looks rough hey. immediately. Stop it. Oh, that's kind of cringe. Then it looks rough. Uh, I will bonus action disengage and then run the fuck away. Where would you like to run to? You move I will five, go 10, 
You've got no, another no. 25. I would like to run diagonally left behind this that, that statue. Illegal. You could get to uh, all the way up to here if you wanted. But you could go here. No, I won't go up. Oh, wait. I need up to... There. There. There's me being stunned. Oh, down, 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 down. I'm just going to get into that corner. Down there. one more. No, no, down. <laughs> I'm looking It'd at the... Concentration check, I remember. Oh, okay. Uh, damage, yeah, but... uh, did you make a concentration check? No, but like, does being stunned just make it so that I lose concentration regardless or no? Oh, uh, I don't know. Because if so, don't bother rolling the check. But if, if not, then I have to roll check for that one point. Damage. Uh, your account is incapacitated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, I guess you lose Hunter's Mark, I'm afraid. Fuck! These ringers, they don't hit hard, but oh, they are a real a, inconvenient. I might, dude, I have a horse cock. I'm gonna shove it. Mm. Uh, bell missed. Lol, she should be a bee. Oh. Welcome back. You well, I mean, if you rear up at the white time, Dutch, then maybe. Belly missed. Does it count as. There is a ringer to your close left. It is all up in your grill. It tried to swipe at you. Right. It is your turn. I'm, I'm gonna go on the other side of it and throw my spear. You're gonna go to the other side of it and throw your spear. Yeah, so I'm like right in that corner and then throw it so it goes in the line straight between the two of them. Okay. <laughs> Let me just check something. Hitting both for our lives. Fucking nah, special. I know. I'll just deflect missiles. Grab it. And that's my spear. Are they in a lie? Oh my god, it's me! <laughs> I say that! I'm the one who says <laughs> I'm the one who not. Dutch, okay. I gotta find you catchphrase. Okay. We'll um, <laughs> just make a make an, make two attack rolls, two okay. ranged weapon attacks yeah, against the two it, enemies. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's eighteen for the first one. Yeah, so that hits the close ringer. And uh, fifteen for the other one. Yep, yeah, so that hits. Okay. Uh, so roll your one d six plus. Two, I think. I think this, yep. all the weapons are plus two. I made them. Eight for the first one. Yep. And eight again for the second one. Okay. And uh, roll me. Roll me another d20. Ooh. Gore. Gore. Ooh, 19. Okay, you're fine. Okay, good. Uh, you're fine. This spear goes through Thanks. the two ringers and somehow. As your mid movement, it just manages to like tuck under your arm or over your shoulder where it doesn't actually seem to contact any of your allies. It's almost as if the spear is innately avoiding them to the best of its ability. Maybe not perfectly, you you know, if you fuck shit up. But it, it seems naturally like it's not trying to kill your friends. Uh, do I roll my cold damage? Uh, yes. It is the fucking ringer that has me still not dead. Four cold damage. It is. Do you did another. Okay, roll your cold damage again. And. Five cold damage. Okay, it is dead. Yay! The ringer holding oh. Dutch psh, evaporates. You're welcome, my friend. Am I still stunned? Uh, you are no longer stunned. You're welcome. Centaur gang! Centaur gang! Centaur gang! Centaur gang. <laughs> still like okay, that. Hunter, it is your turn. Yeah. Which one do you want a laser beam? I'm gonna start my laser beam in, ah, laser beam in the one to the north. To the north? Go for it. Go Ping it north! I think <laughs> Ethan put it. Chop! Uh, which one's that? Uh, Shoot one in north. 14. 14? That hits. You gather that these things aren't very hard to to hit at all. Uh, 10 damage? Yep. Yeah, go for it. Is it looking particularly weak? It is. It's singed. Cool. In which case, I am going to. Falcon punch him. Falcon. You're gonna go Falcon oh. punch it? Indeed. Okay. So, uh, would you like to explain attack. to the group what you're doing? 
a dash, well, the dash forward is optional, but an uppercut, which will potentially knock it back into lots of damage. Hunter is using the Twin Fist of Malphorn to make an uppercut attack. Uh, I just have this image of like, he's trying to like uppercut this floating hand and it'll just look like some weird like miscommunicated like fist bump yeah <laughs> you know like one yeah. guy goes for the high five the other goes for the fist bump that's kind of what's going Yo, on there right fist now. bump boom <laughs> uh 15 to hit uh, uh do, 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 do. yeah that hits it's 14 hits yeah uh four do i add my modifier to the damage was it uh on the uppercut yes oh i Get normal damage as well. Yeah. You make an armor strike against it, and then if it hits, it takes some yeah. additional damage. Shit. So that is. Worth 14 oh. points of damage. When you say normal damage, you mean rolling for the attack, then adding the extra? Yes. No, so it's an unarmed four. strike, but it does that damage. Oh. I. Okay, so it in takes an additional damage. No, it's... It's what it says. Okay. Uh, okay. So just a 2d6 I don't plus have this on my phone. I have modify. to open up. Uh, yes. 2d6 with the modifier. Cool. In which case, that will be 12 points of damage. Okay. So that's and a 22 DC 15. you've done to it total. Yes. And a okay. saving, strength saving throw if it's still alive. It is still alive. Well, as alive as you can be. However, it floats, it and it is immune to being prone. Yeah. But you do watch him as he uppercuts a hand, and it just floats back down, although twitching, and you're pretty sure one of the fingers looks broken. Doesn't he give a fuck? It, it just pops up! Uh, it is now that ringer's turn. In real hunter. Uh, yeah, I mean, you you hit it. It's not happy. It's gonna try and hit you back. It does not look happy. It's uh, 19. Fuck fuck fuck. Why are you rolling our ACs? <laughs> <laughs> it's rolling, he's consistently rolled one of my AC every time. You take six points of damage, and you are can... No. Mm. Mm -hmm. Strength save. Strength save. Yeah, I'm stunned. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No. Your yeah. hunter is now Was stunned. It? Six points of damage, was it? Yes, six. Yeah. Um, next in turn order, that ring is dead. Dutch. Hey! Oh, Gabagool, huh? Gabagool! Babbidi boopy! Okay. Well, I see my, my man dem 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 in trouble. Mm hmm. So I choose to ignore it. And sh no, um. I go no, for the points. I only have one spell slot left, so I just want to wait with the we'll, we'll use that later. The one that is currently restraining Hunter looks very fucked up. Yeah. From, uh, you know, you've oh, fought wait. quite a few of these now. They don't seem to be very strong. Okay, okay, okay. Hold up. Hold up. Okay. Um, question. Answer. As a centaur, mm -hmm. I have a bonus action that is a charge. Mm -hmm. But it says here, if you, know, if you move at least 30 feet straight toward a target and then hit it with a melee weapon attack on the same turn, I can immediately follow that attack uh, with a bonus action. So, like, this is pretty useless for me because I have a bow, right? So it's, it, it activates yeah. all the melee attacks. Uh -huh. Melee weapon attacks, so even unarmed strikes wouldn't do a trick. Mm -hmm. uh, unarmed strikes are melee weapon attacks. Unarmed strikes are considered melee weapon attacks, yes. Oh, okay. So you could melee it. You could punch it with the bow if you really want it. Fuck it. Um... Nah, fuck it. I'm gonna just go. Uh, I'll just fucking shoot the cunt that is uh, bullying my uh, my my only human friend that I have. Okay, you go and shoot him. Roll yeah. an attack. When the human is the minority. Uh, true. I'm the middle. Uh, there's a 14 plus 8, 22 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Roll damage. Dutch getting these weird initiative rolls and cleaning up every round. Uh, oh, I need to damage for any sense. Yeah. 
Yo, Ranger good now, guys? Is that a thing? Yo, by the way, when you charge, you can use your hooves because they're natural melee weapons. So you get 1d4 plus 2 bludgeoning damage. Yeah, no, but it says here, like, the, the charge thing is all about me melee, yeah. melee attack. Oh, no, I'm sure and then you get a bonus consider that melee weapon. Yeah, yeah, no, but listen, the whole point about the charge is that it makes it so that you can use your hooves as, as an attack boss, for a bonus. And action. then, yeah. So you can run up, hit it, hit it again. Yeah. But you have infinite bow arrow ammo. So I, uh, wait, plus four, so that is uh, 12 points of damage. It evaporates. Fuck yeah. Which and means I, uh, yeah, that's it. I don't, uh, actually, dude, before fucking, you know, I've been, I've been ringed once and Centaur gang member number two seems very, uh, confident in her abilities to deal with that thing. So I'm just going to step toward the left wall a little bit. Yeah. How far do you want to go? I uh, just hug the wall. Fuck it. Over like here into the one, corner. Maybe like up, like towards the corner and then like one up. That's like here? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. It is now the turn of the ringer that is in melee with Bell. Hell yeah, dude. That's a natural 18. Okay. Okay. Uh, make me a DC 15 strength save, please. Okay. You take five points of damage, by the way. Sick. Okay. That's a two, so. <laughs> you are considered stunned. None of okay. us have saved from the fucking. Uh, it's only DC 15! Yeah, yeah I rolled a natural three on mine. Uh, which what, is what was three. it? Was it like a. Dex save or something? It's a, it's a strength save, and the chains essentially wrap around you. Koibles! Oh, okay. That's me. That Settle Kubla! That me. It's your uh, turn. I'm gonna go get as close. I'll just get up to the other one. I mean, there. yeah, you can. Five. Yeah. You can just straight up you get, get in there. and flank it because uh, you have uh, the Stygian blade. Nice. And then the divide roll. Uh, that is. Uh, uh, oh, that's really garbage. Because uh, it's me fucking wrong dice. It's 13 to hit. Uh, yeah, that hits. Oh, heck yeah. And then uh, I get sneak attack. Yeah. This Yo. one. Uh, for eleven points of damage. Yep. Okay. It's looking really fucking rough. I roll. I'm rolling really. By the way, guys, I've yet to roll, like all my numbers above three on my d6s. If all yeah, I've never rolled a one. Good. I rolled a one every single time on my dice. I rolled one and two every single time, and I rolled. Three. Um. I'm breaking all statistics here. Is there anything else you would hmm. like to do? Fucking, I no. <laughs> like, okay. Can't. Interesting choice. No. Uh, no. Bell stunned. Hunter. Let's run up and punch it. You're gonna run up and punch it. Okay. Okay. Uh, five to. There you go. You can get there or there or there. Yeah, I'll just go straight north there. Punch it, my uh, guy. Fourteen. That hits. To hit. For nine damage. Yep. Okay. Eleven plus stuff to hit. Yep. For seven damage. It is gone. Uh, Bell, you are no longer so, restrained. We're so oh, good yeah. at this. We're so good at saving each other's asses, bro. It's great. Right. I know, right? I'm uh, so good at doing nothing uh, against the other combat. It's really poggers every time it happens. Disappointingly, I mean, only time. four coins. Bro. What's your party fund looking like right now? Uh, 38. Alright, uh, okay. I'm what? heading to the door. You're heading Head to the to door? door. Yeah. Is there Head any difference door. between oh, the two wait. doors? Is there, oh, wait. There are two doors there. in this room. Yeah. Is oh. there any discernible difference between the two doors? Yeah. No. They are the exact same. I'm going same. to the top one. <laughs> You're going to the top one? Yep. At this Good. point, I go where my fellow centaur goes. You go to the top yeah, one? Because half the pie have gone that way, I'll fucking go You go way. to the top <laughs> one. Hunter, you are last. Uh, I'd like to go to the left one now, Jack. <laughs> you go to Just stand by the left one, be like, oh, I'm going this okay. way. As, as you... soon as he gets there, I'm going to go open before he can. <laughs> the door I opens. Like <laughs> okay. Um, See? She's got a magic oh. word as well. So Hunter rolled last nice. time. Let's just fucking go clockwise. Dutch. Hello, Roll a D8 for me, please. A date? 
A date? No, a raisin. Yep, to me. Sick. A flex? Sick. Okay. Uh, roll a... Roll whichever dice you want and tell me the number. Oh. And what? any size of dice, it doesn't matter. It's odds or evens. I'll roll a d12 for you. No, d10. Fuck okay. it. Yeet. Kick. Yeah. Wow, this good. So evens? Yeah. Am I okay. rolling for like, the amount of enemies in this bitch or some shit? Like, what the fuck's no, happening? No, it was odds and evens. You it was odds and evens. Oh. You walk into this room, and immediately the atmosphere feels different. This room is lit with a deep lime green flame that seems to run around the room. The wall itself seems to be essentially two walls. And between the walls, there is like a... Like a river of flame, of green flame that runs around the room. That seems to mm -hmm. light up the room. There are four central pillars in the room. And oh. you have stumbled yourselves into a mini boss fight. The oh, the you boss music? There are two Yo, quickly, large, change, change the music. Change your eight, eight foot tall. Oh, you want boss music? Okay, yeah, I, mean, I can do boss music. Are you ready for this shit? Yeah. Are you ready? Extremely ominous. That's the boss. <laughs> okay. Uh, these are what are referred to in the game as Inferno Ominous. They are about eight foot tall skeletons with a spiked helmet. They're carrying what look to be just lit bombs, and they have a pouch of them on their back. It was fucking lit. And that's where we're gonna take a break. Hey! Fuck! Time to pee! Yeah. Um, uh, this is gonna be. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, Dude, I'm gonna throw up the VRB screen. Gonna I'm gonna fucking... go for a smoke. Uh, we'll be back in about 10 15 minutes. Not even fucking. Worried, if you're bro. not already, please follow the Dungeon Slate channel. With you know doing cool shit. Chats. Um, I'm not everyone... tired. I, or I'm not bored. I'm just tired. Okay. I yawn every time, but I am having fun. I swear. I'm not. He's legitimately. Oh, he was up until about four this morning playing GTRP, and I know because no. I was up as well watching and doing this. No. I legitimately, I was making these maps last night at four a.m. I wasn't up until 5am, right. like, I'm gonna... Yeah, because I sent, I sent you a message, like, 2 in the morning or something, and I was like, hey, <laughs> in the Fayette Wild, what would they drink? Didn't yeah. expect you to answer until the morning, and then you replied almost instantly, and I was like, oh, I okay. thought it was a good answer, actually. It was a good answer. Right. Uh, let's fade that up, and let's deafen. We will be back soon, everyone.
But then I said, oh, uh... <laughs> So I told him to go fuck herself. <laughs> I walked out. I put my I dick in the down. central vac. I hit the body hand. in the central vac. What's my cock? And my mama still ain't found the other hand. It was also my cock. Also my cock. <laughs> my mama told me that I was the son of the milkman, so safe to say that ever since then we ain't had milk yet. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> right. So okay. Well, I would like everyone to start off post break by rolling initiative. No. No. Oh, garbage. 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 Okay, let me scroll down to the stat block I have for these. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Uh, let me grab my phone because that's where I've been taking notes. Okay, did anyone get 20 plus? No? Nope. 15 to 20. No, 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 19. Oh, shit. You fucking idiot. <laughs> God damn it. Just means Anyone else? First. 10 to 15. Oh, God. 5 to 10. Kick. Well, what did you get? 18. I already said. Oh, Keep I said. She did say 18. I just. I didn't hear. Uh, what did you get, Koiba? 19. 19. Okay, spells between. Okay. Okay. Uh, the first turn goes to the Inferno Bomber number one, which is this one down here. Oh fuck! I just dislocated. Okay. So. Oh my god! I heard that. I'm fine. Oh. <laughs> okay. So I I did lie. When I said I didn't work on resistances, I did for mini bosses and for oh. bosses. Okay. Good. I'm glad you did. Uh huh. Uh huh. You love it, right? Mm hmm. This creature is going to move. Standing uh, really close together against these five. Cool. 10, 15, 20. I love having no space. 30. Okay. I, I, I need to. So. This large hulking skeleton with a backpack and a handful of explosives is going to, you guessed it, Hug throw us. a bomb. Oh. We know bomb. And it's going to place the bomb. Bo -bo 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 -bo. Right, let's change this to that. It's going to place it. I'm just gonna place it here. So there is now a bomb in that position. It is then going to use its jump ability. Oh yay. And it is going to move there. <laughs> and then it's going to uh, Yeah, that's all of its movement, and I I'm not gonna be cheeky and say that it jumps behind the pillar because it can't see behind the pillar. So that is that one's turn. Um, Koiba, you'll go. Right. This fucking kind of ruined a lot of my plans. I fucking jump no way. Like yeah, bitch. I mean, that's what they do. No, fuck you. Right, I'm going to go to the one that hasn't attacked yet. I'm going to move up to him, but not fucking moving through the bomb space. I will fucking okay. move around it. So... Uh, uh, you can make it like anywhere here. Yeah, that's fine. Because this boy hasn't attacked yet. No, so I you get advantage. So that bomb uh, is just kind of vibing in its, in its like, yes, square now? Yes, for now. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, 24 to hit. That hits, roll damage. Sneaky kick. Uh huh. I want different dice. Come on, get to the bottom of my dice bag. That's what I want. Oh, poggers. But still rolled one shit number. Uh, for 17 points of damage. Uh, piercing damage. Oh, I fucking no. No, it's slashing with your short sword. It's slashing, yeah. That's oh, fine. it's actually piercing. Oh, is it pierce? oh, yeah, piercing them. It doesn't matter. Uh, 17? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, it just sort of... You chip away at some of the bone, but it doesn't seem necessarily... 
It's not that the damage doesn't work on it, it just doesn't seem super bothered by 17 damage. Great. Uh, That's not scary. Anything else you'd like to do? Bonus action. Uh -huh. Do I just fucking do it? Yeah, I'll, I'll Nova Smash it. Go for it. Bonus action. Cool, make it. Con save, please. Natural two. Cool. Oh. So it takes the full damage. And makes you no legendary resistance. Uh, nice. And so it's next it's a attack. mini boss, not a boss boss. It's no. next uh, bit of boss, boss. damage. The damage does the next turn is half. Uh huh. And it takes. Wow, I'm fucking wrong. Dog shot my D8s. Holy fuck! I've like literally not rolled higher than a three on my D8s. That's uh, eight points of damage. Okay. The G the Ragent different no. or is it? The only thing I need to know. Is right. if anyone does fire damage or if anyone does bludgeoning damage. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Point, eight points of damage. Uh, you stay in there. It's also knocked back 15 or uh, 10 feet. 10 feet. Yeah. Okay. Smile. Smile. Ah. Yeah. I'll say. I'll say. There. That's fine. Uh. Yeah. That, that's my turn. Okay. Uh. Bellamy. Bellamy Kyle. <laughs> Oh, okay. <sighs> mm. Alright, I think we need a bit more. Here we go. Can, can I move? The doom sound. Uh, yeah, where would you like to move? To the... So, from where she's looking like that way to the right, to the top. You want to move? Where do you want to move? Sorry. I want to move to the top so that I can kind of get them in a line, and then I want to throw my spear. Mm hmm. And what's your movement? Forty. Four you legs in it. Yeah, to about here. You won't be able to get both of them in a line yet. But you can throw at one or the other if you want. I'm going to. Because if I remember correctly, your throw isn't... You can throw it it's as many times as you want. It's the sweep yeah. that's uh, charged. Yeah. I'm going to use Symbiotic Entity. Okay. Huh? Um, and gain temporary hit points. Mm -hmm. That uh, That's a bonus action? Nope, that's an action. Okay. Uh, uh, wait, so that so is your four, action. Per level, so four times four is eight. What is four times four? Six. Four times four is sixteen. Okay. Cool. Do you gain sixteen? Yep. Uh, okay, cool. You get... Uh, 16 temporary hit points. Yep. Uh, on top of that, whenever you use your Halo of Spores, you get yep. to roll twice. Yep. So it will be one, 2d4. If it, if it moves within 10 feet of you, or starts its turn there, you need to... Uh, I'll remind you of that, but that's like a just a thing that happens all the time. Yeah. Uh, so quite a few of the enemies would have been hit by that. Mm -hmm. uh, and you do an extra 1d6 necrotic if you hit with a melee weapon. Yep. Cool. God dang, dude. That was the so plan. that. Dang, dude, this got eat. You've still got your <laughs> bonus action if you want to do anything? No. Cool. Um, it is... Blah, blah, blah. It is this Inferno Bomber's turn. Oh. Uh... Oh. It doesn't like you, Koiba, because you just stabbed at it. So it's going to throw a bomb here. Bomb. And then it is going to move. Five. It's got a bomb on me, that's It's going to move to there. Uh, no, it has to be an unoccupied space, don't worry. Right. Uh, so that is its turn. Hunter. Yeah. 
Where would you like to uh, go? Uh, I would like to move 40 feet straight forward, please. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Mm -hmm. You can just about see this one. You have obscured your view of this one. Yeah, I always go from there. Uh... Cool. Oh, mighty Zeus. Can I have some aid, please? Are you using your call? Yeah, why not? Fuck yeah! Okay. So... I know what that means. He watches immediately. Uh, Hunter is shrouded in this lightning storm. Immediately swirling around him. And. Two strikes. Uh, I would like you to designate a target. I'm assuming the one the you can see. Bottom one. Yes, the one. Okay. Uh, I mean, I could go for Koi. Roll a d4 for me. Two. What? Two. <laughs> Okay, uh, roll 2d20. 10, 11. Uh, so 15 and 16. No, that, that was... Oh, is that with your plus down. 5? Yeah. Oh, yikes, oh. yeah. Uh, unfortunately, neither of those hit. But, that was your bonus action, you still have your action. Oh, of course yep. it Beautiful. <laughs> oh, and yeah, of course, this one's a good one. Um, 20 something. 20 Late something. 20. Are these your, your laser handing? Laser handing. Okay. Uh, yeah, for all damage. For 8 radiant damage. Cool. Uh, so this is the bottom one? Indeed. Okay. Uh, is that your turn? It is indeed. Uh, Dutchy Poo. Oh, it's your turn. I am going to, of course, move up towards my fellow centaur. Okay, where would you centaur like to move? Can. 5, 10, yeah. 15, 20. You get there with about 25. Yeah, sure. Where do you want and to keep moving then, or stay there? I'll stay there. Okay. And then I use my bonus action to cost... Oh, wait, does he... What's the range of hundred mark? 5, 90. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50. He's about uh, 75, 80 feet from me. Okay, well, the range is 90 feet, so prob that's perfect. Yeah. Uh, Hunter's Mark yeah. on that boy. This one is now Hunter's that's my, Marked. Uh, that's my last spell slot gone. Uh, let me just add a marker to him so we know what you want. Hunter's Marked. And uh, that one has been damaged, correct? It has. Beautiful. So for my action, I just uh, shoot my bow. Shoot bow. Okay, go for it. Uh, thirteen. Uh, just hits. Cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's one. Um, hit nine, ten, twelve points of damage. Twelve points of damage on the top one. Yes. Okay. That is my turn. Okay. It is now the bottom Inferno Bomber's turn. This bomb here immediately explodes. <laughs> None of you are in range. Beautiful. So I'm just going to move this off to the side for now. Ah, fuck it. Uh, as his action, he's going to throw a bomb. There. And move behind the pillar. What a bitch. Coward. Uh, it is now Koiba's turn again. Hey, me? Yeah. Koibi, Koibi. I will. Ba -ba -da -ba, ba -ba -da -ba. Yeah, I'll just fucking go up to the the one that I I last hit. Yeah. So five, ten, fifteen. 20, 25, 30, 35. Yeah, I'll just a tick. A tick. Uh, go for it. Ha, nope. No, that bad. Natural one. 
Natural one, okay. Nice, good job. So you swing, and, and I miss you realize that you're swinging straight for the explosive backpack, and you immediately sort of like turn the blade away and just abandon ship. I will bonus action just cut my fucking self, I think. <laughs> Uh, no, I just thought that's all I, uh, I, you know what, I will bonus action disengage. Yeah. And then just <laughs> use that, like, a little bit more. I've got to go back around the corner. You've got another corner. 10. So I'll go, go just there. back around the corner. Okay. Let's go around the corner. Just, like, around the corner. Bellamy? Yeah. What would you like to do, Bell? It is your turn. I'm... I'm going to shift a little bit more forward so I can get the one in the bottom of the map. Just right, right. You so could hit him from about there. Yeah. Yeah? Are yeah. you throwing your spear? Yeah. Go for it. Hold on. Rolling. Rolling dice, but on my phone. <laughs> Y'all. 16 to hit. Uh, yeah, that hits. Hell yeah. Okay. So you don't get your uh, necrotic on this because it's melee, unfortunately. And this is a ranged attack. I have to keep uh... going back and checking like the abilities I gave you guys because they're new. Uh, How dare you. You do get your cold damage though. Yes. Okay. Uh, that is seven piercing damage. Yep. And four cold damage. Okay. Uh, you still have your bonus action. Uh, I'm gonna use the rest of my movement to move closer to him. Okay. Like the one at the top. You have forty feet movement, right? Yeah, and I... Uh, 10, 15, 20. There, you can get that. Okay, cool. And that's it. That's all I want to do. Okay. Uh, um, you are out of range for Halo Spores, unfortunately. It is this Inferno Bomber's turn that has been hunted marked. This immediately explodes. And he's going to throw another bomb. Ooh. There. Oh, and he's going to use his jump ability. Of course he is. To move... There. Mm -hmm. And then... Mm -hmm. Use his movement. To move there. Only straight fucking yeeted himself. Oh, yeah, man. they... Like, flex of the legs and jump, like... Impossibly far. He goes far. Uh, oh, did he move just out of my sight? You can still see him just, but I would say that he has half cover from you. Uh, Hunter, it is your turn. Dutch, you're up next. I guess I can only see one of them. Uh, yes, the one on the left is completely obscured from you. Yay, the grand total of one. Is that what you rolled? No. No. Well, you, I say that. Uh, no light. Well, lightning. But Zeus is apparently a really bad aim. Oh, so you got one one lightning strike? Yeah. I did okay. a natural two. Natural two, so Jesus. seven to hit. Zeus Fortunately kind of not. Pissy, uh, so okay. that lightning strike strikes the ground next to him. Um. Next to? It's on the other side of the fucking room. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, but that is, you know, that is just a thing that happens. So I'm going to go punchy punchy. You're going to go punchy punchy him? Punchy punchy. Okay. Uh, right, do I punchy there. punchy 15. or do I punchy punchy punchy? 20. There you, you go. Uh, just throw a kick in there. Which isn't good. Go for it. Roll your attacks, daddy -o. Well, the first one was going to be a punch with Gadless, which would be a 20-something. Mm-hmm. I hope. 20. Two. That hits. Maybe. Uh, four. A cheeky. Ten damage. 
Of bludgeoning. Of bludgeoning. And you notice that the moment you start making contact, the bones immediately start beginning to crack. They do not seem to like you punching them at all. <gasps> uh, uh, let's just go punchy punch. punch okay. Punch. So roll your next attack. Guess the 10 misses. Mm-hmm. An 18 won't, I'm guessing. So you're flaring your blows for an air. I do indeed. Yeah, an 18 hits. And a 20. So that'll be for a total of... Oh yeah, because I forgot that I gave you the gloves that give you an extra punch when you flurry your blows. 17 so, yeah. bludgeoning damage for those two attacks. For those two? Um, mm -hmm. Okay, immediately after you started wailing into him, he is not in good shape. You know, one of the arms is sort of dangling limply. You're pretty sure that you've sheared three or four of his ribs off. They do not like it when you get up close and start smacking into him. Uh, awesome. Dutch, That's your turn. turn. Can I move my complete and full movement back down, maybe to the right a little bit, to hug the wall? Oh, okay, to have, like, proper vision of boy that's trying to get away from me? You can get to about there. Yeah, and you'll have full vision. Beautiful. Uh, this was the guy that was top left, so he is Hunter's Mark. No, yes, he no. is. That's why he has the big white circle around him. Okay, 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 okay. Um, let's see... Jamming out to this fucking park sound for right? <laughs> the cat jam. Shabanga. I don't have any spell slots left, so fuck me. Uh, uh well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is. Okay, question. Is volley fire considered a weapon attack? Uh, it is considered a weapon attack, yes. Beautiful. Um, is he within 30 feet of me? Uh, five, uh, yeah, ten. I'll say yeah. Okay. Then I would like to expend one charge of my bow to use Big volley bow. fire. Do you use volley fire? Okay. Yeah. So he needs to make a dexterity save. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Let me just grab the stat block. All of these things you fought today have complete like custom stat blocks. It's been fun. My boy. Uh, dexterity saving throw, do you say? Yes. Yes. It's a, uh, it's a natural 19, but it's cocked, so I'm going to re-roll it. It's an 18, though. Total. Oh. So he takes okay, half it takes damage. Half damage. Uh, that's fine still. Still big pog. Uh, so that's 2d8 for the volley fire. That's yeah. 1d8 for Hunter's Mark. Colossus Slayer. Oh, Colossus Slayer, and you've got Hunter's Mark. And a d6 for Hunter's Mark. Yeah, fucking 3d8 plus a d6, that's disgusting. So he takes 8 damage, half to 4 for the Volley Fire. Yeah. That's 4. He takes another 7 points of damage for the Colossus Slayer, so that's 11. Yeah. Plus my d6, so that's a 3, so 14 points of damage. Okay. He is incredibly fucked up like a sliver of his essence is left you know at this point like there's one of your spectral arrows completely jammed through the knees the rib cage is just in shreds from my hunter pummeled it it's not a good time it is now the turn of this inferno bomber so this bomb explodes he is going to does recharge his jump. So he's going to... And fucking he only he's going to make fucking lit shit to just like... Yeah. Going to throw a bomb there. And then use his jump ability. Oh, fuck off, God. To... Move... Oh, fucking hell, lad. Yeah. Uh, oh, hello, Koiba. That is his turn. It is now Koiba's turn. Well, this decade's in front of me, so I'm just gonna... Stab. Gabacunt. 
Oh, that's cool. Yo, that's a 19 to hit. I don't uh, get 19 to hit? Yeah, it hits. I don't get sneak attack in this fucking hell up there. No, you don't, baby. Sorry, baby boo. He's not sorry. That's 10 points of damage, though. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're doing damage to him. Nice. Uh, I will then bonus action uh, disengage. Yeah, where would you like to go? And fucking run 45 feet just to the right and behind that pillar. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40. You could get yeah, that. There. Yeah, that, that's okay. fine. Uh, Bell. Running, 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 running. There is an exploding bomb five feet next to you. And there is a monster about 15 feet in front of you. I want to move uh, 10 foot forward first. Okay. Maybe not that way. Left. There you go. That's 10 feet. Uh, another 5 feet. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to throw my spear. You're going to throw your spear and try and hit both of them? Yeah. Okay. Go Let's for it. Go. Make two attack rolls, please. Oh, yeah, 19, so yeah. 21. Okay. And 19. 19, wait, you said 19, so 21? Yeah, so it was 19 plus 2 to get 21, and then the second roll was 17 plus 2 to get 19. 19, like you rolled a natural 19. Yeah. You get more than plus 2 on your throw, you get... No, I don't. I get plus 2. Do you not have a dex bonus at all? Maybe I do. I don't know. It, it's a it's a ranged spear attack, so it's uh, uh, whatever you roll plus dex plus it, proficiency plus two because it's plus two weapon. If it's a thrown okay, spear, it's strength, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it, it will be strength. strength. Yeah, spear. Strength. I do cool. apologize. So more than that, then. <laughs> uh, hang on, I have your character sheet. Uh, so you will have a plus six to hit on your spear attacks. Oh, hell yeah. So, yeah. Uh, also, it is a natural 19 on the first one you said? Yes. Yeah, so what was the second one as well? Sorry? Uh, 17. Okay. On the natural 19, your Blessing of Demeter kicks in, your Chill Touch. So they need uh, to make a So the DC first one has to make con a Con Save. Yep. Which he fails. Because uh, it's 20. And the other one doesn't have to make a con save. So, nope. roll your damage for me. In fact, roll damage on the first one. Don't bother with the second one. Okay, so that's uh, four da four, is it six damage. Six damage? Is that including your cold damage? Nope. Then plus two for cold damage. Okay. So you've got uh, eight damage on the first one. And you yep. will, those of you that also, are looking in that direction, see frost begin to creep out of the spear wound and begin to solidify in solid chunks. Uh, that Inferno Bomber is now considered slowed. Fuck. And this one... Fuck off, dickhead. ...is Shit immediately down. dead. And it leaves in its place. Huh? It leaves in its place. Ah, uh -huh. another Paper bomb. Room. Yay! Oh boy. Enjoy that. Which um, immediately explodes. Oh. Yep. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to use the rest of my movement to get behind that pillar on the left side. On the like, chain side. reaction. Okay. Chain uh, reaction. <laughs> you can get to yep. that. That's where you want to be. Uh, Hunter, do me a favor, make a dexterity saving throw for me. Lots. Okay, so you do pass the save. 24. Yeah, you definitely pass the save. You take 8 half to 4 points of fire damage, so 4 points of fire damage, and 1 point of force damage, as that bomb immediately explodes. Still over half health. Oh, nice. Good. It is now the turn of the uh, Inferno Bomber that just died. So this one explodes. But nobody is in range. It is now Hunter's turn. 
there is a bomb right next to you. I'm going to be nice and say that that one was just out of range so you're not getting double dicked. No, mm -hmm. double dick. Fuck him. Double dick. <laughs> double dick. He's double dick. Fine. Double dick. The, the combination of the pillar and you absorbed most of the explosion to deflect away from this one also chain reaction. <laughs> Look. You'll thank me later. Ooh. True. 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 Ah. Rest gang. <laughs> that's a nice number. That's not. Why doesn't this one line into it? That's a better number. How many lightnings did you get first? Four. You got four? What was the first one? Shit. Okay, uh, the second one? 18, 15, 20. Those are the naturals. Those three hit, yep. So I would like you to roll for me uh, whatever the fuck I told you the damage was for them. Uh, 1d20 damage? No. <laughs> what? Uh, 1d4 for each of them, 1D4, so 3d4. Yeah. 4d4. Because I got that 20. Uh, no. 3d4 and then you double one of them. So double your first one. Aww. And we don't give yeah, extra double, dice here. We double dice here. Yeah, we double, double dice. Double dice is always more fun. As in, As double in the more amount of dice. More dice is always more fun, you mean. More yeah, but it's also fun. more unpredictable. Uh, exactly. So, so double dice for me. So first so, one. Eight. Eight. So you got a four, so that's an eight. Yeah. Uh, three, so that's eleven. Another four, so that's fifteen. Okay. Uh, let me just check something really quick. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, it takes a minus two penalty to dex dexterity saving throws because it is slowed. Uh, it needs to make a oh, con save. Con save. Okay. Or be stunned. I mean, we'll see how it goes. It's already slowed. That's a natural one. That Inferno Bomber oh. is stunned as this lightning rains down and just... Like a lightning rod in the middle of a field. Straight through the middle. It yeah. seems shit-talking Zeus pissed him off. <laughs> okay. What would you like to do as your action? Cool. I will then move. A little bonus action. A little bit to the left. That's a free action. His bonus action was to activate it on the on the first turn. What? The fuck? Uh, you would like to move to the left? How far, sorry? The whole. The coolest Twenty feet. Let's go for that. Twenty yeah, feet there. there. Away from the big. More. Let's go more. The away from the bomb. Thing. Okay. Away from the scary boomy thing. Okay. Uh, what do you want to do? Yeah. Why not more key points? More key points. Lasers? I mean, you are a monk. That is what you do. Quad laser. Quad laser. Because I don't want to speak blowing up my face. Natural 18. Ooh. That's going to miss. You have advantage on all of these, remember, because he's stunned. Aha. Uh -huh. So I've got an 18 and a 2 on the first one, then. Okay. The so that's the first that's... one. Okay. Where the fuck did it go? go while, H while Hunter's rolling these, those of you wondering the mechanics of it, uh, basically when the player started, I got them to roll a deer and that decided the boon they received from their deity. Hunter got a very lucky roll, courtesy of Dutch, which gave him yeah, that's me. Uh, what is nice, called in the game a call. Uh, so his bonus action is to activate the call. It lasts for one minute. It is once per short rest. And then once he's activated it with a bonus action, at the start of all of his turns as a free action, he designates a target. They take 1d4 lightning strikes which are plus five to hit they do 1d4 damage but if you are struck by two or more you have to make a dc 15 con save will be stunned it's fucking powerful and i tried to reflect that in game uh so your first one hits uh with some additions 20 or 21 yeah uh not 20 yeah then miss okay what was your miss actually uh it was a 5, so it goes up to a 13, so maybe it hits? 13 hits. Oh, okay. So you have... Uh, do three normal ones first, and then do your crit one. Uh, uh, we were out here fucking that, giggling. That'll be that. 26. Uh, 26. Total. On, for those three. For those three, yeah. Uh, what type of damage is this considered again? Radiant. Radiant, okay. Uh, and that last one is 14. Nope. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very fucking rough. One side of it is completely frozen solid. 
The other side has like tiny sparks of lightning curling around the bone. It's poor bone man. Uh, I'm Dutch, it's your dead. turn. Okay. I use bonus action to move Hunter's Mark from dead guy to a live guy. He is Hunter's Marked. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, mate, I'll fucking, I'll fucking shoot it. Shoot, shoot the bastard, innit? Go ahead and roll an attack with advantage. Oh! That I also love the fact that I'm rolling higher on D4s than Koi Quiz on D6s. Yeah. That's a natural 19. I mean, I'm <laughs> on D8. A natural so 19? I crit. Yeah, it does. And he also takes the extra D8 because uh, Colossus Slayer, and he takes a D6 because Hunter's Mark. Oh my god, oh my god, oh, oh my, my god. Goodness. I mean, oh unless god, you roll oh really goodness. low, this isn't a good time. Bra! Bra! Uh, I roll a 8 on my one D8, so that's 16. I yeah. roll a 4 on my other D8, so He's that's dead. 8, so that's 24. And then 2 and 4 is a 28, plus 2 is a 30 point damage. You again, for the fourth or fifth time in this brief. Brief session. Arrow immediately slams in. And you watch as there's... There's this weird haze around. You've seen it, I think, twice now. But every now and again, one of these arrows shoots out. And there's this weird, like... Almost like a red vapor that comes off after it's impacted. And this seems to swirl and conjoin with the frost and the lightning. And this bone creature just shatters. The fuck? This See bone immediately later. explodes and hits nobody. Have a good nice. one. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, you find. Du -du 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 vacuum up all the points. Du -du 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 -du. You find 60 obols oh, across the two of them. Yo, are you on fancy short rest? Yo, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Like, yeah, should we just uh, rest up for a second? Smile face. I'd like to take short rest DM. You would like to take short rest? Yes, please. Okay. Possible. Um. Sure, man. Hmm. I'll use one hit die to heal my one HP that I missed. I don't know if DM's work. gonna let us or not, because I don't know how oh, it works. Fuck! Yeah, I don't know how it's gonna work. He might tell us to fuck off. Someone. <laughs> who's got the highest intelligence? It's Koiba, right? Me. Yeah. Roll an intelligence check. Oh, fuck. So, I think we need to wait for the shop. Yeah, that's uh, Yo, when do we get to the shopping floor, dude? <laughs> oh, no, intelligence check? Yeah. 13. 13? Yeah. Okay. Um. Go. Fuck. Just for the memes, uh, Dutch because you critted and Hunt because you used your call, both of you roll a d20. Go. What's going on, dude? Do I roll two d20s because I critted as well? No. Because you don't have a crit boon. Nice, but I have just nice. critted now. You got a 20? Not 20. There's... There's something... In the water, it's making it. <laughs> there's something really, like, urging you forward. You have this sudden burst of energy. And you notice that... There's just this... Very slight staticky feeling. Like, the hairs on your arm raise up. Uh, all of you notice this. That, like, the hairs on your arm... Like, your hairs begin to stand up, and there's this very sudden, this, like, static feeling in the room. You specifically, Hunter, are very much invigorated, and have a general sensation that you should keep going. I think we should keep going, guys. Okay. okay. Um, all right. Unfortunately. I have uh, rolled a two, by the way. I don't know why it made me roll. I, I made you roll because you two both had... Alright, I'll, I'll happily explain this because we're not like... Um, you two both had like... What I would describe as significant interactions with the power of your deity during this combat. Therefore, I gave you a chance to roll for the aid of a deity. You've been spurred onto the next room. And in it, you find a large pool of clear, slightly green lit water. I jump in. You jump in? Yeah, I, 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 is there like a fountain? Does it look drinkable? 
Yes, absolutely. Oh, fucking. So. The moment any of you make contact with the water, you gain the benefits of a short rest. Hey. I oh, go sploosh, sploosh. So you you gain the up. benefits of a short rest in terms of abilities, in terms of hit points. You are restored by four times your hit dice. So if you if your hit dice is D8, roll 48. Oh, I have to roll 48. Oh, so I, yeah. I, I mean, say, I only, I'll take I only missed one HP, so I just killed myself. <laughs> So, whatever like, your hit dice is, which I think for all of you... No, Hunter's yeah. is a D... I'm D8. You're D8. 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 Druid is D8 as well, I think. Yeah, everyone's D8. So, everyone's a D8. So, you all get 4 D8 healing. And any abilities that refresh on no, sword... No, I'm, I'm a D10, but... You're a D10? Well, it doesn't matter. You had one health. Yeah. Um, oh, damn it. I missed a 2 HP. Well, you've got I your callback, so quit your bitching. I hear healed up to full, and I've got my thingy back. Yo, thingy any back. chance I get spell slots back? <laughs> Do you recover spell slots on a short rest? No. Then unfortunately not. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <coughs> if you your spell slots, okay. I don't have any spells. <laughs> I don't have a map for this room because it's not a combat encounter. My spell healed you, you prick. <laughs> I don't have a map for this room because it's not a combat encounter. However, there are two doors in this room. One of which is the doors you have normally seen. Mm -hmm. One of which, there's a deep red set gem or stone of some sort that goes around the archway. And is also set in the center. Marks with the insignia of Hades. And there is... Almost like a warmth emanating from this door. I go to special door. You go to special, special door. Special door. Yes. I go special. Is everyone um, going as, to the special door? As I'm walking. Yeah. Yeah, why not? As I'm walking towards, I'm going open, 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 open. open. You notice <laughs> that once all four of you are within five feet of it, it opens. I'm, yes. I mean, I'd wait till he stops talking, and then as you take a breath, step in and say, "Well, there you, you go then." <laughs> um. Okay. Um, when you want to be swag so bad. When you want to be swag so bad. <laughs> Bell 2020. Man. 2020 <laughs> when you want to be swag so bad. <laughs> when you want to be swag so bad. Oh my god, I'm so swag right now. Swagger souls. Uh, I'm messing with things that you can't see for a moment, and then I will uh, show you. While we are doing this, you walk into a room. It is a rather long room. Is there another hidden loading screen? You go through the hidden loading screen. And you join this room. There are four of the lion-faced... Uh, uh, ...panels on the floor. The oh, traps. Traps. There traps, are two traps. statues in the middle of the room. Traps. And let me just see if this works. Okay. Uh, Bobo's going to see what I'm typing and immediately know what's happening. You find yourselves in this room. And I will briefly upsize this. Upsize oh, no. Oh, you no. find yourself oh, no. facing a slightly pale blue-skinned woman. She has one large dark wing, uh, and she has a whip that is currently curled around her body. Back. Don't get and I like, start backing up to the door that we came from, dude. Man, I knew that short <laughs> The door is shut behind you. It was not a good but, sign. That's but. a bad sign. What? No, who's what? got high charisma? Why is that boss music? What? Why are we trapped? Why is that boss music? music? You know damn well why this boss music. I got auto saved, chat! <laughs> I got healed uh, auto saved in the Got all this money. Didn't get to spend it before we die. Okay. <laughs> okay. Don't die. Easy. So, I just kind of. Like, I'm like, hello. Is that what you say to her? <laughs> I'm like, hello. Kind of look really happy, like, hey! She looks at you all and just scoffs. No, no. <clears throat> okay, I'm an idiot. Oh, we know. <laughs> Everything we've seen. Shut the. 
hey, I thought you were supposed to the centaur gang. I thought we were supposed to fucking be homies. What the fuck? What the fuck? Everything oh, I've seen you, like, in these like... dungeons that hasn't been my my associates has tried to hit me before. Yeah. So I see something that isn't my friends. I shoot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, make an attack. So roll. I shoot. That's how I just start fucking running. <laughs> Uh, 21 to hit. Okay. I'm not with him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, how much did you say, sorry? 21, 21. to So the arrow thuds into her shoulder, and you see her shoulder moves about half an inch, and she makes no facial reaction. <laughs> <laughs> She looks at you. Sorry. I was expecting someone else. But we leave? I have a duty to this household. And more importantly, Zagreus has set a bad example. And I don't want this to reflect on him. So. Roll initiative. Fuck. Koiba, would you like to tell everyone who this is? Yeah, this is uh, Megara of the Fury Sisters. She's a fucking evil bitch. She's one of the protectors of the house, and her entire job is to make sure no one escapes and to punish people who try to. Cool, but is yeah, she single? Yeah, that makes sense. Is she single? Uh, uh, will she depend step on me? Depends. The yeah, game does have yeah. romance options. I will tell you all that now. She's te she is te Or at least the video game does. I haven't given you guys a chance to get in her pants. Technically single, but it's complicated. It, her Facebook status is it's complicated. <laughs> right, but okay, anyone but like that? Okay. So one, options. she into horse dicks. Two, will she step on me? She will uh, definitely step on me. No, but yes. <laughs> yeah, she'll definitely step okay. on me. Okay, I mean, hey, that's 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 that's, that's okay. Uh, natural so, 20 for 23. 23. But natural 20. Okay, what's your dex total? Uh, my dex total is... Plus 16. three. 16. 16. Yeah. Uh, roll a d20 for me. What the fuck is this, dude? Oh, 11. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 20... 15 to 20, anyone? 15. Okay. Uh, Hunter, what'd you get? Seven. Seven? Dutch, what'd yep. you get? 14. Okay. Oh, my heart rate is so high right now. Oh, it's gonna be. So, this is the easiest boss fight, chaps. You definitely don't die to this one first. All the you don't die. To no, this isn't where people We're write. fine, dude. Stop stressing. Uh, oh, okay. it's fine. God, chill out. Relax, dude. It's not like we're fighting orcas. Fucking relax. I mean. Yeah, I mean that's not for oh. another few days. Chill out. True, like relax, dude. We got time. Right. Yo, I Are you uh, ready? No, I'm Koiba. Well, judging by the fact that I shot her once with a 21 to hit and it didn't do shit, I'm not, but okay. Here we okay. Go. Um, I did, obviously. <laughs> it is Meg's turn first. Oh, culprits. <laughs> uh, she is going to... Sorry, 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 sorry. She's going to move... Uh... Five, ten... Okay. Fifty. She's coming to us. Fifty-five. She's coming know. straight towards you. She flies fifty-five feet towards you in a straight dash. Um. Because you specifically are the one that shot her, from her position, she immediately lunges forward towards you at a an insane speed uh, and slams into you uh, for a 24 she like shoulder slams into you and as she does she with clawed nails rakes across the front of your chest cutting Ow. through your armor Ethan is actually playing Hades on the side here to see what she does and <laughs> <laughs> just take um, her moves her how much does okay. this do to you? Oh, one. Can't wait for the one shot to happen. Just like, oh, I get fucked up. Rolled fairly low, so that's nine points of slashing damage. Okay, that's not. 
Okay. Uh, and then... Do-do-do-do-do-do. Uh, <laughs> okay, she's going to... Yeah, that's her turn. Uh, so it is Koiva. Uh, I will go around to flank her. Okay. Can I get an advantage, smiley face? You can, yeah. Easily done. I'm going to zoom in a bit just for the moment, even though I'm not showing the full map area, because it's, it's a big room. Yeah. These are all, like, the scale of the game. And then I will actually, as a... No, I will I'll do this first. Will... Okay, what are you going to do? I'll attack her first. Okay, go to hit. Uh, that's a 20 to hit. Well, that hits. 3d6. Nice. Really shit down. Uh, no. 14 points of damage. Okay. And then as a bonus action, I will uh, Nova Shrek. Okay, go for it. So make a con save, please. Uh. Fucking boon is a con save. All my homies are gonna be in melee. Yeah. Uh, 15. That is the DC. Okay, so she saves. She saves, doesn't get the half damage. Cringe. Oh, once again, by the way, not rolled above a three on my D8. Did you stop doing that? Just, you know. I'm so used to re roll ones and twos, dude. You don't know how many times it happens on my actual D8. So it's like re roll. I'm gonna use a point of lot of. I'm gonna use a point of. That's Bullshit. eight points of damage. Okay. What point? What damage? Sorry. Uh it doesn't. It, uh, oh, it's for your Nova Strike. It's force damage. Two D eight force damage. And yeah. Then one, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, you slam your your sword down. It definitely seems to do some amount of damage. It's four damage, boys. Because it's too fucking safe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And she, fucking anything else happened to her. Uh, uh, that's my turn. That's your turn? You okay. No. Bell! I'm here. Actually, no! Before anything else. Oh, great. She's going to use a legendary action. Of course she is. To summon yep. a witch. It appears at this yep. side of the room. Yep. Yep. Go. Uh, yep. 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 What's okay, dude? what was your uh, roll again, Bell? For your, do you remember what your initiative was? Uh, 15. Okay. The witch goes before you. Mm -hmm. It is going to... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. Mm -hmm. You are... If it moves up a little, Koibs, in range. Oh, fuck off, dickhead. <laughs> Get, how much room does it have? Get to fuck to get. It's gonna move there. <laughs> it is going to shoot uh, an orbit quiver, an oib, an oib uh, hunter, and an oib, oib at bell. Oib. Uh, so, quiver. That was. Turn 11. Misses. Hunter, that's a 15. It misses. Well, that is a 19. Yeah, that hits. Get okay. fucked, dickhead. You take... Da -da -da -da. Six I mean, points of force barrel. damage. Six? Yeah. No, no, oh, you've been hit. No. Oh, and good. then it's going to move back there. These, by the way, are what appear to be the same pressure plates. They are not Grab. covered. I'm just specifying yeah. so nobody, like, goes, oh, I can't see it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it is now Bell's turn. Um, I'm going to use an, uh, my action to use Symbiotic Entity again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Roll that temporary mm -hmm. HP. Oh no, it's not. Uh, it's just you get 16. It's not a roll. I just get 16. Okay. And I'm... Wait, what was I going to do before I thought about doing a different thing? Oh, 
Oh yeah, cool. I'm gonna cast Hex. You're gonna cast Hex? Go for it. Uh, I'm gonna cast it on... Big Meg or the witch? Meg. Okay. So Meg is now hexed. You do an extra 1d6 necrotic whenever you hit her with an attack. Yep. Uh, choose one ability. Has disadvantage on ability checks with that ability. Uh, disadvantage on... I can choose any? Mm-hmm. So can I just say charisma? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, well, I'm doing that. Meg now has to... Disadvantage on charisma saving throws for as oh, long wait, as no, she shit. is hexed. But not that was what I, meant. Okay. I thought that wasn't meant me. Never mind. Hmm? Can I change it? Because I thought that meant me, not her. No, she has disadvantage. So what do you want to give her disadvantage on? Wisdom. Wisdom. Okay, she has disadvantage on wisdom saving throws. Okay, there you go. I will allow you this one thing because these are all new abilities. I don't know how this works. Okay. Anything else you want to okay. do? Just, that was your bonus action and... Action, and now uh, I yeah. only have movement left on. I don't want to move. You want to stay there. <laughs> She's just outside of the range of your halo of spores. I'm just going to go five foot forward. So, you want to go there or there? Uh, if you go there, she's within range of your halo of spores. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I will say, the only thing you've seen her, or the old seen her do so far, you've seen her lunge 15 foot forward as part of an attack. That's fine. Okay. Um. Uh, Dutch! My boon will literally kill my entire group. Okay. So I'm not using that. As much as I want to, because it's 2d8 damage. It, it, it hits everyone. The reason yours is more damage is because it hits everyone. Uh, I do want to get the like fuck out of there. It though. made sense for a swirling vortex of blades from Ares of all people. Uh, you want to get yeah, the fuck out of there. Yeah, I just wanna, like, she's probably gonna get an attack of opportunity, but I don't give a fuck. I wanna just move 40 feet diagonally to the right, like, top right, like, in that direction. One, two, she does get an can. attack of opportunity, which she's going to take. Yeah. Because she's a bitch. Uh, what a hoe. What a hoe. <laughs> yee ho bag. Hey, Gad, yee ho bag. That is an 11, that doesn't hit. Ah, get fucked, dummy. Okay. Um, um, does that bring me like, like, uh, like obviously if the 40 feet's right, gonna 10. put me on top of the pressure plate, I'm not gonna, but uh, no. I don't know, how far can I get? 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, you can get, if you go straight diagonal, you can get about here. Yeah, but that means I press the pressure plate. It does. It goes off after. I think. You remember no, it I took to like, about six seconds after you stepped off. Or, oh, not... Mm. Six steppings from the moment you step on it. For the sake of brevity, if you end your turn on any of these, they damage you. So you can cross okay, them. Fuck it then. Yeah. Okay. Fuck it. I'll cross them then. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck okay. it. Fuck it. There. Yup. 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 You um, still have action and bonus action. How long is your short rest again? An hour, right? Uh huh. Wait. There, no, no. You, you didn't, didn't short, short rest. rest. You still have hunter's mark. Pog. Okay. Bonus action. Hunter's mark. That bitch. True. Okay. We didn't actually short rest, we just got the benefit of a short rest because uh -huh. we used some holy water. Gee, Megaton is marked. Cool, okay. Has anyone dealt damage to the bitch? Yes, she's taking 22 damage. I did like, I did like four damage. Okay, I just shoot bow then. Okay, make an attack bro. 17? 17 hits. Uh, bop, and you, and Beep, bop, you. boom. I find it quite funny how we... This feeling up. inside. Yeah, 15 points of damage. Okay. Just how we, as a group, orchestrated the two ways you fight the fucking Furious. This is either run the fuck away and just hit far, or you just stay on them and hope. <laughs> yeah. And just like, you just tank fuck it. you. Okay. <laughs> going. Um, okay, uh, as a reaction to that damage, Meg will enter her second phase. Uh, 
fucking Naruto fucking hand fucking. And legendary action. Is that your turn done? Sorry, Dutch. Uh, yeah, that's bonus action, action movement. So Europe. Okay. She will use her uh, legendary action to at the end of this room up here summon a thug. Oh, you fucking thug! Which Hunter, what was your initiative again? Uh, seven. Okay. It is your initiative. turn. Initiative. You are down here in melee with Meg. There is a witch there and a thug far up there. Yes. I will move five feet to the left. Okay. You are flanking. I will punch. Make an attack roll. Twenty-six. That hits. Roll damage. Eight damage. Okay. Of the bludgeoning kind. Okay. <laughs> um, and then, Sparky Sparky, as a bonus action. As a bonus action, you're going to use your call? Indeed. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, it activates when you activate it, so roll a d4 for me. Three. Three? Indeed. Who's your designated target? Uh, Dutch. Huh. Meg ah. or the Obviously witch Meg. or the thug? Okay. Meg. Uh, roll three. Leave it to the human. Attack for me. Dude. With plus five to hit. 22. Yep. 17. Yep. Seven. Uh, two hit. Uh, so roll your one d four damage on each of them. Uh, do you put first to that or just? Uh, no, it's just a straight one d four. Four damage. On both uh, total. Total. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, she is going on, to make a contain. Constitution save. Do I? The nineteen. Fuck. Is that your stunts. turn? You sting that? Uh, yeah, why not? Let's okay. What happened. So that is your turn. It's now the turn of the thug. The erected thug. The large, hulking, muscular torso. The spirit of a violent individual uh, is going to. He's move. also slow. Five, um, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's gonna move there. That's its turn. It is now Meg's turn. Seeing as there are. Seeing as? Oh! Fuck Just it. don't kill us, bro. It's not that hard. You know? Seeing as she's in with three of you, she is going to take her whip and swirl it around her. Uh, the three of you that are within ten feet, so everyone but Dutch, I would like you to make a dexterity saving throw. Is this a magical effect? 20. It is not. Hmm. Twenty? You pass. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen? You just pass. Bell? Wait, what am I rolling? Uh, deck save. Uh, no. See if you get whipped by Meg. Yeah. <gasps> Natural 20! Natural 20? Yeah, nice! So, so you all take... Uh, you point. all take six points of slashing damage. Six points of slashing? Yeah. And then Koi was bloodied. Uh... <laughs> uh... Basically, Yeah, fuck it. Okay, she's gonna... No, I tell you what she's gonna do. Make smart. She's gonna move <laughs> five feet to her right. Not allowed. Such that she does not leave anyone's range, but you are now in melee with her bell. Uh, Koi, Rich, you'll go. Oh, cool. 
I'm 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 still flanking, right? You are yet. Yeah, you're now flanking with Bell. Fuck yeah. Uh, oh, natural twenty. Bitch. Natural twenty. Big pog. Oh, I get killer? sneak attack. Yo, sneak what? attack. Yes, you do. But no, no, just, oh, it's the fucking guitar point. starts. Oh uh, uh, yeah, there we go. It was well timed. <laughs> oh my god, you are too much. Come on, above. Fuck. Fucking three. <laughs> Oh my Which, god! So what's your total damage, my guy? 7, 14... 19 points. 19 points? And then <gasps> I will bonus action. I'm going to fucking Nova again. You're going to Nova? Okay, go for it. Con save, mm -hmm. please. Con save? Mm -hmm. This is a natural 4, so 9 total. Fail! Legendary resistance. So that's how that feels, huh? Ah, that's, that's crazy. How... That's crazy. I, I see. I see now. I see now. <laughs> oh, wow. that's kind of uh, I get it now. Okay. I get it now. Fourteen try... points of damage. Fourteen points of damage. So Is... that just means that she like passes. She passes, passes so yeah. she takes seven. Okay. Well, I find like this is to be a bit dumb. Yeah. Mm. It's a boss so, fight. It's a boss yeah, it's fight. Like, it's a boss mechanic. It's literally so that they just can't... to slow the boss fight down a bit. It's you know also it so that you can't, like, immediately charm bosses. Do you mm. know what it is? It's mm. fucking cringe is what it is. Do you know what it is? It's a shut your fucking mouth, otherwise I'll give it more. Go! Cool. Hmm. Um, uh, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, it is this witch's turn. 9, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 40. Okay, it's gonna shoot a beam at... Hunter, at Koiba, and at Dutch. So, Hunter, that is uh, fucking 8 plus something. That doesn't hit you. No. Because uh, your AC is quite high. 19. At level 4, boys and girls. <laughs> at Koiba, to get to the AC at level 1. That so. is a... Um, Here we go. 17? Yeah, that hits. Duck. Couldn't have fucking rolled the low one for me, could you? Have to roll the fucking high one. The uh, thirteen. Dutch. <laughs> Sorry. Thirteen to hit. Fuck no. Okay. Let's get that shit out of my face. Ten points of force damage for Koiba. Cool. These witches are the fucking bane of my existence. That is the witch's turn. They fucking me up. Bell. That's me. It is your turn. You are in melee with Meg. She is bearing down on you. There is definitely oh, this oh, almost like yeah, she is. curve to the corner of her mouth. Like there is a, a very much. She is enjoying this. She is yeah. to some bell. extent playing with you. Yeah, but so is hey. Bell. To be fair, Bell's fucking enjoying this. <laughs> yeah, but that's because okay, Bell like strong women. Hello of spores. Okay. So, do 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 do. She makes a con save. Cool. Um, <clears throat> that is uh, 12. What's your spell save DC? The spell save DC is 14. So okay, so fail. she fails. So she takes 1d4 necrotic damage. Uh, that's 3. Uh, okay. Um, 3 da uh, necrotic damage. Do, 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 do. Hey, I'm fucking um, jamming to this music, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That the also King of the Ball is uh, triggers all of the music. Mm, oh, I no, also no. roll a second time, so that's an extra. What did you roll a second time for? Uh, because I have symbiotic entity up. Uh -huh, so when do. I deal my halo spores damage, yeah. I roll twice. So you roll another d4. Yeah. So that's plus one. So four total. So four total. Okay. Ooh. Uh, I'm then gonna use charge spin. Okay, go for it. We stand a woman with a pole arm. Uh, okay, so I'm rolling that attack, and that is uh 21 to hit because I rolled a 19. That hits. Okay, cool. Oh, no, no, so it's charge spin. There's yeah. no hit. It's just a. Oh, okay, cool. Deck no, save. No, no, no. Um, yeah, yeah, deck save. You watch again as as Tria halves through a ten foot radius around her. There's like deep gouges on the wall behind her that must sink probably four inch deep into the stone. 
Is she fucking relaxed, bro? Uh, nope. doo -doo -doo. No chill, Bell. God. She fails. So that is 2d8 yep. force damage. Three. Okay, never mind, Bell. Don't nine. Force nine. damage. That also triggers your cold touch. So you get your. Uh, yes, uh, 1d6. D4. D6. Whatever the. Yeah, D6. It was a D6. So that's three. Okay, so that's a total of. <laughs> So that's uh, three cold damage plus, what was it, six force damage? Did I say six? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, six okay. Six. Yeah. Um, do I also get the extra damage from my head that was forced? Uh, you do, because Not it's considered a, a weapon yeah. attack. So yeah, you get so an extra d6 necrotic. Four necrotic. Okay. Necrotic. And... Uh, she's uh, also hex. She is, so, so you get I another D6. Of necrotic, so that's another two necrotic damage. Okay. And that's my turn. She really doesn't like you. Well, yeah, uh, no, no, no shit. She's a bitch. Uh, Dutch, it's your turn. Lit. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 hey, so, um. I know fucking the, the Ad is hitting our, my boy, mm. but Ad hasn't been hit yet, therefore I do less damage. I'm just gonna shoot the big cunt, the fucking. You're gonna shoot Meg? Boss lady. Okay. Alright, make an attack roll. Oh, uh, that's an 18. That hits, yeah. That crits. That crits for you. Smile. Smile? Yeah. Just wait until you get a Doom Boon. Yeah. Koiba's the only uh, one that'll know what I'm talking about, but... 14, 16, 20, 24 points of damage? Uh, yeah. 24 points of damage. Yes. Okay. And... Uh, before you do um, anything else, okay. as a reaction to that damage, Megara is going to enter her third phase. Let me fucking... Stages is the cunt have. Stop it. That is your turn. Uh, not your turn. Carry on. Sorry. English is hard. I want to move up to. Uh, um, I want to move up to the. Um, if you're thinking what I'm thinking, you could move up to this one and then dash away if you wanted to. You wouldn't make it. Nah, to yeah, this but one. I wanna. I wanna. I wanna. I wanna do that, but I wanna do it to the fucking cunt inside. You wouldn't I have be able 40 to. feet of movement. 5, 10, 20, 15, 20, 30, 20 25, 40. 30, 35, Yeah, but if I... Uh, I'll if you make it did it from here, yeah, they would be right on the edge of the circle. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm gonna just go up diagonally then to fucking big boy. Okay. You know, it's, it's like just outside of the melee, essentially. Like that? Use my... I, I don't know. Yeah, You're sure. outside uh, of his melee there, yeah. And then use my uh, my blade dash and Lip. just dash back to where the fuck I came from, really. Like, just okay. back to that position, but like, so, leave the swirly behind. Uh, let's... I'm just setting up a circle for it really quick. <laughs> Oh, Obi. So it's about that size. Uh, I could have made templates for these if I had time, but I'm stupid. Understandable. Alright. There we Sorry. go. So you're dashing back where you came from? Yeah. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Top right of that pressure blade, bottom right. Yeah. Where did you come from? You can... Anywhere yep. here, really. <laughs> wait, like, it, how, wait, how far can I dash? How uh, far can I dash? You were here? Move? You can, it's your full movement. My full movement? Oh, fuck. Uh, if you really wanted, you can get down in this corner. Yeah, fuck it. Sure. Alright, cool. Uh, so that's your turn. Hunter. Yeah. Hello. It is your turn. Actually, sorry. I do apologize. <laughs> Before you take your turn, oh boy. 
because she's in her third phase. She's going to use a legendary action. She's going to use a legendary action, summon reinforcements. Got to her third phase, boys. Yes, we got to her third one. Uh, Koiva, roll a d4. A d4? Yeah. How many fucking summons? Oh shit! So it, it's fuck. two. Just roll a d4. One. One. Yeah. Okay. So that appears there. Oh. Uh, Listen, guys. Dutch, roll it, a d4. I've, I've... Why me? Which corner it's gonna fucking summon in? Oh, I see, I see, I see. I don't know which way he's going. Uh, four. Yep. Okay, he's going clockwise. Cool. <laughs> so he's gonna summon like on me. So yeah, essentially. I'll be nice okay. and put That's him great. That's out of great. your melee. Hey, yo, hey, you know what I like the best about playing a ranger, dude? Cunts popping up in my melee range. That's really <laughs> fucking sick, dude. Love that shit. Fuck yeah. Should've made oh. a melee ranger. So cool. I love it every time. It's really cool. Hey, yo. Um, we'll talk, though. I've played dungeon. I I've played fucking roguelikes, guys. And if we kill the boss, all the ads despawn. We're fine. Dude. Exactly. We're fine. Exactly. We're fine dude. We're fine, dude. I'm gonna say for okay. pure sanity, these ones are gonna move on the same turns as their counterparts that I already rolled initiative for. Cool. So, Hunter, it is your turn. Two. Fucking ball again, Oh, I'm so tired. Holy fuck. I'm for sorry. 22 <laughs> and uh, 16. Uh, 24 and 16. 22 and a 16. Uh, the first one hits. For four lightning damage. Four lightning damage. Okay. And now it is your turn. Because your Zeus call is fucking powerful. <laughs> Part of me wants to Shout say it's broken. My boy Zeus, you know. I However, respect the man that disguises himself as a goose and fucks a human woman. Oh, he right. did it as a goose as well, huh? Okay, Zeus has fucked right. a lot of women as a lot of animals. Zeus was just right. likes becoming an animal and then fucking a human. For some reason, I don't know what the fuck his deal is. You can start every twenty-four, twenty-two. As an animal. Are these your attacks? Oh, by the way, uh, yeah. I'm assuming you're My using leg... flurry blows. Yes. Okay. Twenty-four, twenty-six. Okay, so oh, all four. All over twenty. Yeah. The image I have for like Aries, by the way, like I'm. My Aries is. Fucking god of like the god of war game Ares, just a fucking mean cunt. I mean, you can Google Ares Hades damage. if you want. He's cool as shit. How much? Thirty-three. Total. Thirty-three. Oof. Okay. Hades is pretty fucking. Must be done. Okay. Is that your turn? Punchy Zappy. Yep. He looks like a fucking anime character. What do you mean he's cool as shit? He is cool, cool as shit. Yeah. Suck my dick. <clears throat> okay. Oh, so. Sorry. To begin. Meg is going to die. No. Oh. Uh. She's going to make a multi attack. The first of which is going to be a whip whirl. I will have deck saves from three of you in melee, please. Oh, imagine being a ranger, dude. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Seventeen. Yeah. Dirty twenty. Yeah. Bell. You're muted. Imagine being muted, Bell. Bell missed. Oh my god, hold on. Oh my god. 5, 10, 20, 11. 11? Mm-hmm. Okay, you take 11 points of damage. Hunter, oh, okay. Koiba, you take 5. Is anyone bloodied? Uh, nope. nope. No, everyone's fine. You're bloodied. I'm very bloodied. Okay. Very bloodied, good boy. Uh, not good, not good, not good. Meg is going to... Oh, I'm fucking open my dumb fucking <laughs> mouth. Use her volley ability. You dumb. And she is going so to good. fire six beams of dark force energy out in multiple directions. Oh, you're so dead, Koiba. <laughs> Uh, so, um, is this a magical ability? ranged weapon attack? Uh, it's a ranged spell attack. Okay. Sorry, bud. 
Is this fucking spell attack? Great. Uh, fuck it. Web is dead. I'm not dead, it's fine. Do you want any saving throws? One, two, three, four. I'm trying to decide who should go for. Oh great, the music got fucking lit. Great. Hunter, Dutch, Dutch, Koiba, Hunter, Bell. So. Hunter, Dutch, Dutch. Hunter oh, twice, Dutch twice, Koiba once, Bell once. Okay. So. I might be alive, chat. Dutch, that's natural 19. I'm assuming that hits you. Uh, yeah. And then. Uh, dirty 19. I. You take 15 points of force damage. Ooh! This is her third phase. Uh, hey, uh, that I is like a... DMing more, bro. Get me back in the DMC. That's a 21 to hit Hunter on the first one. <laughs> nah, that 16 on the second one. So um, one hits yeah, you. 16 misses. I don't like it on this side uh, of the game. You guys, take so 12 points of force damage. Your control freak is showing. Uh, sorry, 10 points of force damage. I apologize. <laughs> Uh, Bell. <laughs> Up to natural 20. Oh, Bell's dead. <laughs> oh, Bell's dead. You take... I don't, I don't even care, I just... Does she get disadvantage because she's in melee? Mm, mm, yes, but no, because... Special things. Uh, she's not getting... Long story, I'll explain later. When we do oh, like the Bell post campaign, shit and immediately gets fucking uh, hit Bell, you take 14 good. points of force Instant. damage. How much? 14. 14? Yeah. Uh, Koiba, that's a uh, 16. Oh, you can't. Bye, Koiba. Bye. <laughs> you Bye, take Koiba. 8 points of force damage. How much? 8. I <sighs> six. Oh, no. <laughs> no. So Koiba is currently unconscious. Who wants Poor a free sword? Boy. Dude! Dude! <laughs> oh, fuck. Basically, um, because obviously a lot of this shit I'm scaling on the fly, uh, her third phase uh, gives her advantage on attacks as long as she's taking damage in the last turn. So, Black. that cancels Black. out. Um, so that is her turn. Koiba, make a death saving throw, please. Death saving throw? Yeah, of course. I mean... In oh. this universe, if you don't die, you just respawn, like, literally. Oh, Are you yeah, sure yeah. about that? Yeah. That was a skeleton uh, man, so it's like, oh. You hate to see it, boys, but a 19. The like, skeleton man said he respawns. Okay, You're so... You're my mate. So, it's a success. success. Yeah, it's like a natural 20. It is now... The two Wait, witches. Oh, you do so much fucking damage! Oh, <laughs> you're mad! I'm just... I'm that. Sorry, I'm angry. So Koiba's unconscious now. Keeping angry is Dutch is out of range of the witches. So one's yeah, gonna go for Hunter. Stupid witch <laughs> and one's gonna... ah, actually, no. They they see a thug like creeping up on your ass. Uh, so they're not gonna they're not gonna fuck with that too much. Um, I missed this 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 one's turn by the way. So roll your two d eight, Dutch. <gasps> Kill it. I I mean it hasn't damaged yet, so I doubt it. Kill it, my king. Uh, seven. Okay. Uh, it's gonna. It's gonna mo keep moving straight on, and I'm gonna say that it's still in range. So it's next turn it'll take damage as well. Because it's stupid. Um. Okay. Uh. Hunter. No. That's a miss. That's a hit. That's a miss. You take butter ba dum butter ba dum. Six points of force damage. Bellamy. Yeah. Kill it, please. That's a miss. That is. A six. Does a sixteen hit you? Yeah. Okay. You take. You're lucky. I rolled a one and a two on two d ten. You take three points of force damage. Couldn't have fucking rolled that earlier, could you? <laughs> oh, it's almost like I'm focusing the guy that plays the game. That's fucked up. I'm That's kidding, fucked. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but it's Koiba. 
One would um, say that would be a bit meta. Bell, it is your turn. GM. It's my turn. The witches are smart enough to choose targets based on who they see as a threat. The thugs will just go for whatever's closest. Sick. I don't care. She takes 1d6 of necrotic automatically. Wait, is it d6 uh, for my portion? It should have okay. been on her turn. Sorry, I forgot about that. 50, 20 damage. I am. Do you hunt damage? Uh, no, it's... It are, you, are you doing the Halo Spores one or are you doing the Symbiotic one? Uh, Halo Spores one. First. Oh yeah, so that's your reaction. Uh, I mean, it's the same thing because you just roll it twice. Yeah. So your reaction, she takes 2d4. She takes 5 necrotic damage automatically. Okay. So that was your reaction. What would you like to do? I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. I'm going to use a charge and do charge spin. Okay, uh, that is a dex save. Yep. That is a... Uh, 17. Shit, she saves. It's okay. fine. She so she takes half damage. So roll so that, that big dick damage. Is... Uh, and 12, so she takes 6. Add Four your seven. cold as well. Which is a d6. Five cold damage. Half to two. So she takes that, eight. No, cold damage doesn't get affected by the save. It, mm. it was six. It was six for the charge spin. And then cold damage. Yeah, is no, the, the cold damage. Mm, cold damage I guess they didn't really clarify that because they simply do an extra cold damage on the attack. Yeah. yeah. And I'm classing this as an attack. Mm. I'm going to make a ruling on that. Uh, I mean, say for this one, I'll do the full damage, but then I'm going to have to make a decision at some point whether that counts as an attack or not, because it's technically imposing a save. It's complicated, because technically it's not an attack, but also you're literally just spinning your weapon at her. Um, okay, that's fine. Um, uh, so she also gets... Uh... She also takes hex damage. damage, yeah. Yeah. Which is five necrotic. Okay. That. She is looking and, very and then, hurt. Yeah, and then there's another one because of the melee weapon attack from symbiotic entity. Okay. Which is four. Dude, you can bang this bitch in the ass. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> oh, you have to have Hades. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, spoilers, Dutch. How dare you? <laughs> um, is that the end of your turn? Yes. Okay. Meg is going to take a legendary action. Which is oh, fine. Uh, she's going to use her flame ability. Do it. Uh -huh. um, Not allowed. Oh. She is going... Fucking is anyone bloodied that's not, you know, already on the floor? Uh, Me! You're Maybe. bloodied? Yeah. Hunter's bloodied. Bell, are you I'm bloodied? Not. I'm not. I'm just not. Like. She is I'm going to use her flame ability and create a dark necrotic circle of radius 15 feet centered on herself. Ooh. She is going to what? move out of this as she does so, taking an attack of opportunity <laughs> from Hunter. Bell's already used her reaction. That's fine. So, Not 20. Killer hunter. Not 20, killer. okay. Killer. Killer hunter. Uh, roll damage for me. Uh, oh, fuck. I rolled two dice because I'm used to doing it that way. What are they? Two and a one. Just take that. So three plus... Six, nine. So nine points of damage. Okay. Okay. Nice. She's still up. Um, a dark necrotic circle appears. Um directly where she was stood, covering Koiba, Bell, Hunter. I need you all to make a dexterity saving throw for you. Koiba, you auto fail. So, one death save loss or two? Yeah, one. Okay. Because it's not an attack, so I'm going to say it doesn't auto crit. 22, 22 passes. Uh, you want a natural 20? Dead, but... Yep. Uh, okay, so... So fuck, oh shit, I'm fucked! <laughs> ah! Oh shit! 
Don't like motion. Operation um, Kite to the no. Bitch is a go. <laughs> kite to Bitch turns. Uh, if I die... take six points of damage. Okay, I'm still up. You're six still up? Points? Yeah. I'm still up. I mean, okay. Kyle, I'm pretty sure she can like move 55 feet and then also move 50 feet. She's gonna I... fly towards <laughs> Dutch. No, she's not. No, 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 she's not. Uh, she's gonna use her lunge ability from here. She immediately enters melee with you. Uh, That's a 10 to hit. Doesn't hit. Cut! So she lunges towards you again with these claws, and you saw her do it last time. And as she moves with that sort of like anime stutter step flicker of being impossibly fast, even though you can't see her, you just instinctually like. You almost feel like you've been shoulder checked from the side. And you find yourself stumbling slightly as she slams into the wall next to you. I'm a horse man. I'm a horse man. And you swear for like a brief quarter of a second, you saw like a, a fully Spartan armored soldier with a, a shield barge you out of the way. But then like you blink and it's gone. What? Fucking rad, dude. Uh, okay. And that is her turn. Belt in uh, the panic. I don't know which. <laughs> what? I, like the I need to move the thugs. <laughs> uh, this thug is too big to fit here, like <laughs> but Dummy? doesn't. Re uh, this thug's Dummy? stupid. Dummy? Can't fit there. It's gonna go five, ten. Dummy? Fucking hit him with 15. Oh, that fucking city <laughs> is going to make an attack roll against you. Yeah. Cringe. It's almost like this is a boss fight. I have oh, an idea. But I need to be alive. That's 11 to hit. 11 to hit doesn't hit. Okay, perfect. It ends its turn there, triggering the trap. It takes Don't five points me. of piercing damage. Don't bleed it. Uh, this one. Wait, 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 I need to check tonight because I think she should have taken damage. Wait, have I had a, wait, 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 have I had a turn since I put that circle up? This is the second time that thug moves, but I don't remember. No, you haven't. I apologize. I'm gonna say, because, yeah, what the fuck? Okay. Uh, that one moves there. It's out of movement. Uh, Dutch, take your turn and then we'll carry on where we were. Um, question. Answer. My blade dash, does that trigger attacks opportunity? Uh, to leave their melee? Technically, yes, because you are still dashing. You're just doing it as a bonus action instead of an action. But you could action to engage. You could. Absolutely. Yeah, no, but I want to... Mm, you could disengage. Dash, you've then got nine, uh, 80 feet of movement and you've left a blade swarm. Yeah. yeah but I also, but also, roll your 2d8 for me. Because I want to shoot, because I have a very good likelihood to crit, and I feel like, you know, she's looking rough. I feel like I'm a killer. Before mm -hmm. you do that, roll 2d8 for wrong. me. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing uh, 8. Okay. And this one didn't move at all. This one's dead. Nice, dumb idiot. Um, hold up. Okay, second question. My bow ability is a 30 foot cone, right? Yeah. It is. Oh, fuck it, I'm just, I'm just gonna do that. Fuck it, if I die, I die. Like, I'm not gonna move. If I die, I die. Time. So I need both, I'm using my volley fire. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's my second charge gone. I, I think I have five, right? Yeah, I, I think all of you have five charges. Sick. Uh, yeah. So I need you them to four. make th that one and the thug to make. I need boss lady and thug to make a deck save. Okay. Uh, I gotta do? check my glasses because I don't want to see Thug gets a 13. <laughs> okay, that's fail. Uh, Meg has a natural <laughs> 20. Okay, then she takes half damage. It's fine. Okay. Let's see all here. Uh, so that's 2d8 <laughs> plus the extra d8 because of my fucking. Um, <laughs> I can see Colossus again. Slayer. Yeah. And Hunter's Mark. Yeah. Dude. Dude. Hold your pogs, but this could be, this could be something. Hold your pogs. Uh, I'll roll for the 
Thug first because he doesn't take half. He doesn't take half damage. So I mean, but... the damage is the same for both of them. Yeah, but I no. So you're using your cone ability. Wait, is my Colossus Slayer? Does that apply to both? Like no. Uh, one yeah, one one creature. So I want that no, to be the boss lady. Of like the initial, uh, whatever damage it is off your cone. Yeah, that goes to both, but like yeah, the other bitch also has two extra dice. And then that's what yeah. Mean. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so for the uh, 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 eight damage to thug, four okay. to boss lady for the cone. Four to the boss lady for the cone. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and eight to the thug. Then the boss lady takes an additional oh, an additional thirteen points of damage. Okay. Please. This takes her uh, to two hundred and five. Her max HP was two hundred. You see as Meg is lifted up and impaled by this, like, pool of blood around her that converges into a spear. And the spear seems to wrap her hand around like a large muscular hand, pulls her down into the pool, and all the creatures vanish. I need to... Sorry. Oh. Hey, guys, let's get back into medicine check. Okay, you're, make, you're making a medicine... So, oh, Belle's healing herself. Hunter's <laughs> making a medicine check to stabilize Koiba. <laughs> and while that is busy with that, check. I look Eight. for money. Eight. Uh, that is a fail. Koiba, make a death saving throw. Oh, fuck no! Why kill it yourself? Why kill it yourself? Because I'm bad. Uh, Dirk, Three. you find 200 obols. Uh, you got a three, Koiba? That's your second fail, right? Yep. Okay. Everyone has one turn. Medicine check again. Medicine check? Mm. Roll for me. That is... Mm. Plus... That. Fourteen. Fourteen? Uh, I believe it's a DC ten. I think so. I'm just going to double... Fuck it, I can't be bothered. I'm going to say that... Between the three of you's medical efforts, given that you're in no danger right now, you stabilize him, but he is still unconscious. I... I slap him to see if he wakes up. You slap him? I How go hard to are you slapping where... him? I, I go to Not where... Okay. Uh, Nothing happens. I go to where uh, Big Titty Mama got sucked into the ground. Yep. And I pee. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds at second level on fucking Dead Boy. Okay. Can uh, I dive in the way? You're <laughs> conscious. Dutch is peeing on what was a pool of blood and is now completely dry until he starts peeing on it. So he's just pissing you on take stone floor. Eight points of health, Quaver. You take yeah. eight <laughs> Forceful <laughs> healing. Forceful healing. Okay. Wait, second level. I just like kick you. Where's my hoof? Cure Wounds, you. You have completed this combat. You have defeated Megara. There is a door at the end of the room. You received 200 obols. Any dab? Smiley face? Any what? Titan's blood smiley face? No. Fuck. Because you guys have no idea what that is. Do you level up? Do you level up? No. Yeah. Oh. Bitch. If we died, would we have leveled up? Yeah. That's probably how it works to me, Faye. I have to die to fucking level up. Every time you die, you just level up and go again. Right back now. to the start. Okay. Uh, what would you guys like to do? I go to end of room. I'd like to open up next door. Okay. Yeah, me too. The door does not open. Why well, fucking wait? To... I mean, yeah. Yeah, we all, we all you all go to the door. Okay. Oh, the can door... I say open for once? I'll ask. I want to say open. Okay. I wish we were to Don't like the other guy to open it, but go for it. <laughs> The other guy. I mean, yeah, like, you guys, you guys have very much been thrown together. I glare at Poiba's character. Okay. I'm gonna, like, draw, draw my bow. Cap him up the back of the head. <laughs> draw I'm your bow. Him. I'm sorry. Draw my bow and look at him. Okay. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. sorry. I, just, I, get, I, get, I get excited. That's you will, uh, so I'm assuming you're all walking up to the door. Me yeah. next. Okay. <laughs> when do you say open, Dutch? <laughs> No, he fucking he stole my thunder. <laughs> you said open. I was like open. <laughs> yeah, he stole my fucking thunder. 
Give it to me. <laughs> Please, that doesn't open. <laughs> <laughs> Were you all waiting at the door? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well then it opened before he said anything. Oh. It's it like halfway it... open, it goes open. <laughs> it's already open, I'm like, open. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there is a large marble staircase ahead of you. Oh, Lead Dorigo's up. on the Similar to the staircase that we like started this descent on. Similar, but much wider with decorative pillars at either side. Does it go up or down? Up? It looks to go up. Oh, okay, I'm going to start I, heading up. I go up, I like to check for traps as I go. Okay. I would like to assist because that's actually a thing I do because I'm a dungeon gnome. Okay. I'm good at it. In theory. Oh, lol. Um... I just walk behind yeah. Bell in case she gets hit by a trap. Right. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of going forward. Thank you. What did you roll on your investigation? I'm to be 11? Yeah. You don't see any traps. Just because I'm helping you? I had 7 and then your advantage I rolled a 1. You don't see any traps. To be fair, <laughs> there's yet to be a hidden trap at any point during this. You have That's only good. seen... Semi obvious, obvious traps. I am. Um, idiot. No. <laughs> if you continue up the staircase, oh, it leads you to a platform. Ooh. Upon this platform, there are a number of braises. The... Do not say it looks lion's head. No. The Bro. green light of Tartarus fades behind you, and ahead of you, there is a burning red and orange light coming from further up the staircase. To your on left, board. there is a smaller fountain. Yeah. And in front of you, all of you, there are what appears to be floating oh, with no. like a slight divine light around them. Four scrolls. Oh, yay! I will drink. Upgrade. You drink from the fountain, yeah. you gain the benefits of a long rest. Oh, me too, oh, me, too me too, me too, me too, me too, me too, me too. Okay, so you all, you all long rest from the fountain. Yay! I love drinking I love water and feeling so me, great. Me, me, me. Sorry, Being me. hydrated is the ultimate healing. Yeah. Who knew? That's wild. Subliminal messaging, guys. Yo, we're we're going to be sponsored by Nestle water. <laughs> no, it's funny because like Nestle here is like chocolate and shit. I mean, they, 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 they own water companies. We're going to but be they're just really dodgy. I'm going anyway. to. Uh, no, no, we're going to get sponsored by Dasani, the Coke water brand that went out of business in the UK in 2011. I only drink um, water. So. Who got the so. killing blow? Uh, Me. You got the killing yeah. blow, Dutch. Okay. Yeah. Fucking uh, I would like yeah, you. Give me oh, one second. I'm gonna dab on your dick. Oh, please do. Okay. That, Mr. DM man. I would like you to roll for me. A what? I'm uh, a Come, Terry. Roll a d10 for me. Oh, d10? No. Metal or no metal? Metal. Uh, Always metal. metal. Always metal, he says. I could put a metal skin on my digital. That is a three. That is a three? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, roll again. Same die. Yep. You got an extra special one. That is a oh sorry. That is a six. A six. Yes. Okay. Roll again. I was running for all of us. Seven. A seven. Roll again. I like these funny Eight. numbers, magic man. Eight. Right? Okay. Five. These four scrolls each have a different insignia. Ooh. Okay. One has a golden shield. Ooh. There is. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, one has a golden shield. One has yep, a golden shield. It. I thought. One... I, yeah, I don't know. It sounded like it was going to describe all four of them. I was, like, I okay, was but then Kobe started talking. Uh, one of them <laughs> has like a a sword, but the lower half of the sword is just blood red. One of them has a wine glass. And Dad. one of them has a single wing. Um, Hoiba, I'm going to say that you get to pick last because yeah, you fine. know things because of the game. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I, I describe the symbol for me again. So you have... You yeah. would recognize you would recognize the second one. The second one is Ares. 
Okay. The first one is a golden shield. I mean, at that point, you know, if I see one that's Ares, that's, that's all I care about. Okay, so you're going for the Ares one. Yeah. Uh, Hunter Bell, both roll a d20. Okay. I'm letting Dutch go first because he got the killing blow, and I feel like that's fair. 15. 15? 16. 16. Okay. Hunter goes next. You have a choice of a golden shield. Wing. You go for the wing. Uh, Bellamy, you have a choice of a Bellamy. wine glass or a golden shield. Wine glass. Wine glass. Koiba. Fucking alcoholic. Okay, <laughs> so. Uh. Do 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 do. Dutch first. Hello. Hello. Roll a. I'm gonna send you a song though. Roll a D8 for me. D8. Okay. Which one is not gonna fuck me? Which one is not gonna fuck me? Which one's not gonna fuck me? The one that Koiba gave me. Seven. One, two. Okay. Uh, you gain the boon Battle Rage. Cool. Whenever Sounds you gain fire. the killing blow on an enemy, your next attack deals an extra... Deals... Fuck it. Whenever you get a kill, your next attack is an automatic crit if it hits. I fuck with it. So what if I crit that hit though? Well, then you've wasted a crit. Well, but no, I'm just saying we burn that bridge when we fucking get to it. Yeah. Uh, Hunter. Okay, yeah. I fuck with Aye. it. Hi. You took Probably. the wing. Hi. Roll a d8. <clears throat> Do like. Hands if I dry. Soup. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Lit. Okay. Um, your Zeus call uh, is now twice per short rest. Ooh. You have received a boon of Hermes. Yeah. That's good. Uh, Bell. That makes sense. Yeah. Roll a D8 for me. Okay. I need to unlock my phone. <laughs> <laughs> you could designate someone be... to roll if you really want. Three. In... Three? You need this weekend, right? so you have yeah, yeah, yeah. I will be back at uni this weekend. That's cool. I have new dice come in as well. Okay. Uh, you receive a boon of Dionysus. I knew it. The god of wine, madness, party. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know, who, I know who Dionysus is. Oh, you also gain the ability oh, to dash as a bonus action. Uh, whenever you Central use game. this Central ability, game. you leave a 10 foot radius cloud of uh, purple fumes that causes enemies to be hung over. What? <laughs> I love it. Oh, I want that in real life. Oh cool. my god. <laughs> I, I will give you like proper mechanics of these before this. next game. Like I will write them. Yeah, please do. Um, I, I write that down. Yeah, I, I like, I'm super down to make this like a little yeah, series or yeah. some shit. This is sick. Uh, this Koiba, roll a like, D8. Every few months, like a couple of weeks or like a couple of yeah. months. One. One? Uh, on brand, okay. Quaver. Good one. Um, it's gonna be shit. It's got fucked, but... Ethan's like, how the fuck do I change this? <laughs> uh, do 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 Is he like looking at Your... Hades, like upgrades on the fly and d and him? Yeah, basically. Bro. You've been there, bro. <laughs> um, your weapon die, what is it at the moment? My weapon die at the moment is a d6. It's now a d8. Oh. And uh, you have gained the boon from Athena, uh, Divine Strike. If an enemy makes a ranged attack at you, you can roll a d20. On a 20? Oh. Mm -mm. I, I would decide the mechanics of this, but you have the ability to Correct. deflect ranged attacks. Sick. Uh, those are your boons. Fuck yeah. Um... Each of you. Judge first. You oh. take this letter, you grasp it. Mm -hmm. and you immediately hear this voice in your head. So. It seems you're making good progress. Mm -hmm. You shed a lot of blood. 
and you will shed much more before this journey is done. Yes. This will aid you on that journey. And you receive your boon of Aries. Hunter. Straight organ. You took the Hermes boon. Uh, you grasp your uh, letter, scroll, and you immediately hear, Hey, so, uh, heard that you and, uh, you and Zeus had a thing. So, I guess, I guess I'm involved in that now. So, um, yeah, hopefully this should, uh, speed up your way out and we'll see you soon, I guess. Um, have fun. Gotta go. You just melt into a puddle of this <laughs> Uh, Belle, you grasp your scroll and you hear, Hey, uh, yeah, so... We, uh, we, we didn't forget you. You're still on your way out of the, the underworld, right? We, uh, there's... I, I tell you, after, after the whole Titans thing, there's been one, one hell of a party going on up here. So, uh, you know, get out and... Hey, maybe I'll uh, I'll make sure there's some nice wine waiting for you when you get there. Um, just uh, next time you speak to Demeter, ask her to be uh, nice on the grapevine this year, yeah? Yep. Oh, this is a match made in heaven. Uh, oh, I'm so happy about this. Koiba. <laughs> you take your scroll and... Huh. Well, you uh, definitely could benefit from a little bit of protection after what I saw back there. But uh, True. that's fine. Uh, just uh, be careful. Don't let don't let her sway you in case she, you know, tries her usual tricks, and you should be fine. You've all been contacted by a deity. You've all gained that deity's boons. Thank and next you. time we play, you will be continuing on to escape from Asphodel, the fire plane, and the second stage of your journey. Hey. Hey. This is so much fun. Uh, <laughs> this this, dope, I, yeah. I knew it would be combat heavy, and like obviously I am having to homebrew a lot of shit on this. But it's so great. I'm having a lot of fun. That was you did a such a good yeah. job. Oh, oh my yeah. god. So, for those of you that came into chat since Loki, the start... Loki, you want to play the game now, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, First of all, the game's great. Please play it. It's Hi, brilliant. There's <laughs> even like a there's even like a story-focused mode, so you don't have to worry too much if you're not into like super uh, big roguelike games. Uh, it is not, but it's it's not expensive, and it's real fucking good. Um, the soundtrack's brilliant as well. Oh, so uh, this music is... For those of you that have come in and been like... Yo, this guy's making shit up. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I've, I've prepped a lot of shit, but this was an idea yeah. that I had talking to Koiba, uh, not last Sunday, the Sunday before, so about a week and a half ago. So in about eleven days, I have prepped eight different enemy types, two mini bosses, one actual boss, uh, over ten rooms. Uh, I prepped uh, four weapons, some boons and shit like and i've done a bunch to like i've tried to keep it as accurate to the game as i can while still making it functional with 5e so our maps that we were using for example i have played in game and roughly measured those out using zagreus's steps so like the room we we fought megan is a top-down version of the room that i actually fought megan last time i fought megan the game that's sick it's... Yeah, you did all this work and slept a collective 10 hours over the entire 11 days. <laughs> you joke, but Dutch can vouch. He was streaming at like 4am last night and I was still watching because I was doing this shit. So yep. it, when are you releasing? When you get the I... context of a giant games and get the uh, license to make this an official... Uh, you know DVD what? Bro. I would more than happily, like... <laughs> yeah, I will. I like. I've been someone. tweeting. I've been like tagging their Twitter in like my in our like the promotion tweets for... Uh... Yeah. I, I, I definitely the wouldn't get the okay to make money off it, I'd like, guess. But I will happily contact someone and be like, yo, I'm making a conversion thing. Are you happy to me put it out as a free resource? And if yeah. they say, yeah, like I'll throw it up somewhere where people can grab it and play their own. Mm -hmm. 
you know, it, nice. it's really fun. That Meg fight was something. I wanted it to no, it really fun. border on, like, you could all die here. I mean, oh, the yeah, I almost died. The next fucking boss I'm really not looking forward to. Oh, yeah, that's going to be... Six HP. The next boss is going to... Yeah, that was an 8. HP, that was an 8 HP. Dead. Oh, uh, by the way, guys, you will level up. Yes! You, just didn't, you didn't level up until you uh, took the boons. Oh, I just fucking closed my DD Beyond! Oh, well, you don't have to do it now. I'm thinking that it's probably going to be. I want to do it now because I'm on raw HP. Raw HP on stream, girl. It's probably going to be next month. Raw HP on stream. That yeah, we play. That's fine. Um, I'm thinking, yeah, sure. what do you guys feel about doing this as like a monthly thing? I'm yeah. down. Yeah. Semi, like. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Ooh, I because. Got um, maybe. I'm going to chime in here real quick because there's probably some, there's, there's some people there here in chat that uh, are new to the DS community, or at least, you know, a couple here and there. Just to clarify that um, Dungeon Select is a D&D &D campaign uh, ran by me and uh, all these people, minus Hunter Omega and some others, um, play every Sunday on my channel. But with the first campaign coming to an end, we decided to make the move to uh, make Dungeon Select its own space on, on Twitter, on Twitch, uh, everywhere. Um, and we plan on running a bunch of one shots, a bunch of other D and D related content here, as well as once campaign two gets started uh, every Sunday. Uh, that will all be focused here. So if you're into D and D, you want to be in touch with anything D and D related that we do, hit the follow button, follow the Twitter, join the subreddit, check out the YouTube. Yeah. Blah blah blah. Yada yada yada. We got yada yada yada. So much shit going on. There's world building streams that Dutch does every week. This is going to be well, probably a once a month thing. But the past two I wasn't able to do, so we'll see. But <laughs> I mean, just do it every week, Smell. Um, I'm probably going to do some streams here while I'm writing, because I'm currently doing a D&D uh, fantasy cookbook. Uh, there might be some cooking streams in the future. I'm going to be doing some mini painting streams. And we're going to be doing... There's a one-shot, is it oh, Saturday? Saturday? Dutch. Do you ah. want to talk about the one shot on Saturday? Sorry, I was leveling up. Yes. Okay. Uh, Saturday, uh, we'll be playing at me. I'm here. Koiba, I'm playing it. Koiba, right? I was, I was debating. Wait, wait. Are you in that or not? Yeah, yeah. Nah, Koiba, me, um, Shatter, Old Shatter Geek, Absolute Prime, and Laura K. We'll be playing in a one shot ran by D.W. Dobson, our boy James, who you see in chat right now. Uh, we're going to pay a visit to. Uh, the Madhouse, I forgot the official like, kiss, title. Right. Yeah, it's gonna be fucking sick. It's gonna be proper like uh, us five rolling up to a fucking freak show, Madhouse, crazy bonkers shenanigans, and I'm excited. I'm sick. So this Saturday uh, at Dungeon Select like... time, so 8 p.m. CET, 2 p.m. Eastern. This has been, been lit. a real like. I want to say clusterfuck, because I know that like. I, you know, had a very little amount of time, but I feel like it's also gone really, like, smoothly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it, we came into it knowing it'd be very combat heavy. There is, you know, it's going to be a, a proper dungeon slog. Um, but I'm excited for it. It's fun. I rolled a six for my HP. Uh, I rolled a seven. Um, but yeah, when you, I'll remind you, um, Ethan, just because I don't know how to fucking do it, but to change my, um damage to yeah. the DA on the I, I mean, I'm literally going to do it now. Uh, oh, Dutch. Oh. Should we host someone? Uh, uh, sure, fuck it. Who the fuck is live? Sage is just went live. Literally just went live. Oh, just hell yeah. Or there's, or there's Pine, who's already been live. Uh, um, I think we did. It. I think we hosted a rated pine on like a previous DS stream, and I don't think we've done that to Sage yet. Or Sage, Yo, like well, you're in, you're in charge of it, Dad. So, am I? You can pick. Some. Well, I mean, I can't. I don't know. Can I rate someone? Oh, no, I need to Whoever's log on to the fuck. I need to log on to the dungeon. Store. I might be able to as an editor. Hang on. Maybe. <laughs> editor. Try it. An editor. Editor. I'm gonna try it. Oh, by the way, if you uh, subscribe to the Dungeon Select YouTube, the VOD of this entire one shot will be going up on there on Saturday at. Oh, yeah, you can do that. I can do it. We're going to be raiding Sage. Beautiful. See you all there. Yeah, we fucking live. The lit. stream's not fully started, yeah, but it's yeah, starting soon. Oh, it's starting soon. So, yeah. Bye, right, everyone. It. Fuck it. Yeah. Bye bye. Uh, bye. bye. Thank you. Uh, if you want to just take ownership of the uh, 
subclass in the thingy. Uh, so like for the cookbook, go mm -hmm. for it. Has it gone through yet? Are we still reading? No. I mean, you haven't. We're still on Twitch. Oh, I have to click. Oh no, it's counted down. I it's no, I have to tap to read now because app. Ah. Uh, make sure 